you step crazy. into the yard. In the yard. Beware of the dogs. The Don't you ever disregard when you step into the yard. In the yard. The thoughts and opinions expressed on this podcast belong to the individuals who speak them. Our intent is not to disrespect or harm anyone, but be our authentic selves. Step into the yard at your own risk. As y'all can see, we in the backyard. <laughs> Yeah, shot fired. We 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 in the backyard, man. This is episode five. We got some Shots special fired. guests in the building. Yes, sir. If y'all don't know these two. <laughs> oh, I th- you can stop. My bad. Uh, if y'all don't know these two. We in Compton, California. These are some Compton yes, legendary music men. The one y'all better learn and understand, because if y'all gonna get a lesson today, I'm gonna stop talking and let them introduce themselves. Point your finger at the bad guy. Yo, hello. Good day with the world. What's we with it? Buns? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we need buns. Yeah. As you can see, we got we you know right, it's Fourth we of July skin weekend buns, too. Brown yeah. skin buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really the real yeah. Yeah. Buns, yeah. They call it yeah, we's in the backyard. Uh, <laughs> Loving buns. So everybody, <laughs> twin, oh, twin. Point your finger at the bad guy. I'll be the suspect against the twin. Yeah. 100. Everybody's favorite nerd, L7 Hayes. Y'all know who did it. Gangsta D. Black ass KK. Count the Z's. the fella, man. Count the Z's. The birthday boy. Man. Yeah. You ain't got to love me, God, dude, man. Sean Gates, one way. You, you know what? Birthday boy. Happy birthday, man. You know what I'm saying? We out here in the yard, man. Backyard cat. It's you know the crucial. Happy birthday, nigga. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Stevie Wonder version. He <laughs> 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 toss your tumbleweed. <laughs> <laughs> so how y'all? Uh, before we get all uh, like all the way to it, I got one question because we was at the, the last show, and it was like, why you didn't introduce me, nigga? You- <laughs> Wait for everybody. Go. To, 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 no, I'm with you. Go ahead. Y'all know who that is. Every you, you time. know it is a crucial. The last show, it was like a million people on stage. I heard some feedback. They like, why was all like I was trying to see them. It was too many people on stage. So people be failing to realize like y'all is at work. You know, when we up there with niggas not going to Yeah, you having fun and all that, but you're still working. So I was like, at your job, can <laughs> No, I ain't going like everything, you know. <laughs> like, can we come to your job? At, do, do that work at your job? Can you invite the homies at your job? Can can yeah, you call for your tickets? manager's office like this? Hey, what's what's poppin'? Even, even when motherfuckers be asking, be like, hey, so what time y'all y'all gonna be at the studio? What time we? Like, yeah, I'm gonna be at the studio. Well, <laughs> what's happening? That's you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a long ass. I mean, but at the same time, <laughs> same time, that shit could be our fault too because. That's how we started, you know, party at the studio. Now niggas older and shit be like, no, it's work at the studio. Right. Like, we right. try to get some shit done. You know what I mean? Show too, you know, when we doing shows, just like you brought up earlier, backstage. That's a intimate thing, word right there, backstage. Man. It's like the now, that, that, last, that, that last eternity. one, boy, that was yeah. a fire hazard. It was... Yeah. I, don't know, I, was, I, was I don't know outside. who was security at that <laughs> hey, door. Yeah, you see how we was. We were standing in security that night, too. What's up, big guy? We were playing security. Uh, <laughs> somebody wasn't doing their job at that door because I saw everybody from Alameda to the 405 backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Between the 105 and the 91. Yeah. Uh, you, nah, my bad. From Florence to the 91. Man, <laughs> you know the local shows. You know, like when it's yeah. local shit, That's every, like everybody man. bringing. Like, I was getting hit like I'm performing. I'm like, damn, but it's crazy like, how. What time y'all go? Yeah, <laughs> and then you got one guy come. He's invited, but then he showed with seventeen niggas. Oh, you are yeah. That's crazy to me. That's that's an internal problem. You know, <laughs> like when me and Kay, we when we roll, we roll with people that's gonna be doing something. You know what I mean? You know. Boomer but on the turntables, uh, shit. I, I, we don't really need security. You know, we got other people <laughs> you do. doing. Uh, you know, I mean, you know, we need some homies to look out, but uh, just letting some people know. 
Yeah, you know, shit, like like you said, we really don't be needing security because we don't be carrying ourselves around like that. You know what I mean? Nah, no problem. Like, on some real shit, like... Nobody looking for us. Now, if niggas walking in and shit, like, on some mad dog and shit, like, that's what... You, that nigga needs security because he looking yeah. for it. <laughs> but shit, no, shit. We be on that oh, motherfucker man. chilling. You know. Making the atmosphere good and giving you that West Coast original feel. Like when we working, whether it's at the stage or in the building, facilitated the call the studio, we at work. Yeah. So just like I said, we can't come to y'all jobs. Like it's been said before, kicking dicks out your mouth for the ladies. But nigga, why you over there trying to scheme and shit? We can't fuck with your shit. It's going to be labeled as a hater in these days and times. So when we working, come and enjoy and shit. Have some fun like how we chilling in the backyard right now. Enjoying the sunshine, this California West Coast lifestyle. Being able to communicate. Ain't nobody talking over each other. Ain't no arguments cracking. Ain't no fights. Learn how to enjoy life and shit. How do y'all feel about male groupies? I know it's like we I know it's already in the topic and shit right now, but I know for a fact, being around y'all, you got them dudes. Like, let's say, like, I was at a concert once, and a dude ran up on one of the humbles, like, oh, hey, 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 can I have a hug? A hug? Like, a hug? <laughs> yeah, right? Like, we like, a hug? <laughs> and then <laughs> the, homie, <laughs> the homie banged on him, like, yeah, fuck, yeah. get the fuck off of him. <laughs> fuck you, need a hug. You know what I'm saying? How y'all deal with that? <laughs> Shit, man. I ain't never had no nigga ask me for no hug. <laughs> shit, I, 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 I was like, shit, man, that that, uh, that community, they pressing the line. <laughs> so look, so look, so look. He didn't know that so the dude that he was asking, though, was a low-key black belt. Wait, yeah. wait, so look, so look. I wouldn't say I wanted a hug, but... So it was you? When I, no. No. <laughs> Nah, nah, it was just... You walked into that one, buddy. Yeah, I walked into that. Nah, it was just like, for me, I listened, I listened to these niggas. You feel me? So it was like an aura around them. Like, y'all were superheroes to me. It's an energy. Like, you feel me? It's an energy. It's like, it's like shit like that. Like, it's an energy. I wouldn't, that's why I said I wouldn't say it was like I wanted a hug and shit like that, but... This is somebody who, shit, I could spit shit word for word. Like, you yeah. feel me? Man, these niggas taught me how to just, like, block out all that stardom shit. Uh, you a superstar or whatever, right on. You human, just like me, bro. So I'm going I'm to approach this shit. I'm going to approach you as a man, like a man. Like, hey, what's up, man? Boo, my name is X, Y, and Z. And that's probably why I be, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be inviting me to shit. Cool. Yeah. You know but that's saying? how I did. And that's on what the it was. Yeah, a lot of a lot of entertainers, they don't know how to take that shit off. You know, take the suit off. They entertain it 24-7 around people. And they ain't, they ain't able, you know, they shortchange themselves because they can't even be who they really are. You know what I mean? And who they probably really is. You know what I mean? Just like, it might just be a whack-ass nigga. You know what I mean? Just like, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? But people love yeah. music. And then yeah, it'd be yeah. like, they going to do oh, whatever hey, because they love the music. Yeah. And it's like, y'all really don't know this individual like yeah. that. Like, that's 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 what, that's what yeah. like really kicks it off. Like when you was asking about being behind stage and all them people be out there, they drawn to an energy. You know what I mean? You got all these motherfuckers, especially the niggas like us. We still alive, you know. Yeah, Mac Ten there that night. You know, second and none. MCA. That was MCA, that, that was a proper Ice show. One, that you know, crack. Sugar know Free. And, Shout out to Angel you know what I mean? All, everybody, we all it come with dif different individual energies, unseen shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Natural. Cause I know, like when I get on stage, it's like I black out. You know what I mean? It's like I don't, I don't want the crowd is not finna not like me. You know what I mean? They not finna not like second and none. You know what I mean? We, you know what I mean? We take that shit personal because you know it's like we've been fighting the power of motherfuckers hating on just us. You know what I mean? Not just individually, just like all oh, them West Coast niggas. You know what I mean? I uh, it was a dude. On the uh, on the Instagram, he's some dude. Uh, he, he got some type of podcast, but he said some shit. He said he wonder he from Philly, I believe he from Philly. He was wondering why that it was his first time ever hearing. Oh, I seen that. Yeah. I seen that. Yeah, it was his I first time e ever hearing E forty. Yeah, you know I what I mean. That. Right there, explain yourself. Yeah. But and, see, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, because I was that 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 I was gonna ask like how. 
from y'all beginning point, because y'all, if if everybody don't know, y'all was signed to an East Coast based label, right? Yeah, yeah. Early One of the early nineties, right? West Coast right. groups. So being in that time before a lot of that, I mean, around that time, the only thing West Coast was cracking for real. It wasn't too. It was like hip hop East Coast based, the big thing. But y'all over here kind of solidified it. Yeah, yeah. So what was that like? Coming from out here and 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 having to do like the East Coast thing, to where was uh, it? Was they receptive of it, like the music or just y'all y'all character or what? Nah, really. Shit, the the nah. people was, but the media, uh, the motherfuckers that had uh, powers to be, and it's crazy. Just what I was saying, when when dude said that, he said his first time hearing E forty when he was twenty five years old. He forty three now. You know what I mean? He he said. Why did what happened, New York? Why didn't y'all play, you know, they West music? Coast music? And that's man, <clears throat> that's prominent to who I, yeah, I, I, crazy I, I told him he was always in playing West Coast. At I mean, East, East Coast radio that's station, what I was about to say. Here, TV station. I commented man. back to him. I commented back to him, and I had so much feedback. Ed Lover jumped in. Yeah, Ed Lover is, you know, he he was doing. Uh, MTV, him and the other Dr. Dre. Yeah. This is big yeah. Dr. Dre. Yeah. Yeah. They but were hosting your MTV yeah, raps. Yeah, your MTV yeah. raps. Early 90s. But he, he said, I played your shit after my, you know, what I commented, but I basically told him, I said, dude, when we, the West Coast rappers start coming out, it was a it was a problem with some of the East Coast dudes hating on us because they been in this shit. That was, they, they, they grew up off of this, you know, so they figured they would be better MCs Better, you know, rappers and their music should be selling. Here we just come in the game, outselling them. Units is moving. You know what I mean? And, like, and the music on, was on top and they wasn't buying they, they, they didn't even believe, uh, yeah. based on this stat, that uh, y'all just making up this thing about police brutality and about uh, Man. you know the cars and the money. You're lying, basically. So let's just say, just for that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and, and tell them, Kay, like, hey, y'all, like, y'all just doing uh, that to sell records. But that didn't come into play until after they seen NWA, the group or whatnot, go gold and platinum. Man. I got, I got a question. Look. You know, so and, and then it when, hit. When, when the movie Colors dropped, they gave us, I'm saying us, West Coast, a totally different... Everybody wanted to be from 60s. I'm going to just say that. Put it out there. Everybody wanted to be a crip. A crip. We didn't. You remember? Yeah, we, but we, Eric, <laughs> the, the, world, the world wanted I'm to be saying, a crip. But, no. Yeah, the, yeah. The world in, wanted to be a Nevada. crip. I was in Reno, Nevada when that when it came out. I was staying with my brother and um, one of my older brothers. And I went to the movies and they was like, they was really tripping. Like glorifying this shit. I mean, like, man, I got offended. Because I'm like, hold on. Compton, homie. There ain't no way I'm finna let one of you square ass niggas walk up to me talking about cuz. You know what I mean? It was a wrap. For me, I mean shit, and I was in I was in Nevada at the time. <laughs> but you had a bunch of, you know, white boys thinking they was black, pushing that line. And I was like, man, this is bullshit, man. This is, don't get the shit, don't let the shit get y'all fucked off out here, cause y'all not really knowing. We got homeboys yeah. that died from this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, I mean, how y'all feel about that, though? Because I know y'all came up against a gang of shit. Being, being that somebody time. that never lived here, never had those experiences in L.A. County or these streets or all these famous things, that, like you say, out of Boys in the Hood. Boys, Boys in the Hood was pretty the first international play on us as far as West Coast right. and just L.A., uh, lifestyle of California uh, lifestyle, especially including gangs, Crips, and Bloods, and Pop Rules. Uh, you know, they ran it to the ground uh, in everybody's head, especially just like out of towners. But, you know, that's what it is. And yeah. That's what swept the world, just like how they say hip hop. But well, that took over first through movies. And, but yeah, it, and was, then, it was red guys, wrong. Them guys know? over there on the East Coast, they was expressing their independence through, you know, rapping. And and dancing, you know, dancing, break dancing, feeling free. Over here, our reality of independence was, you know, expressive. It was drive bys. What we and, dealing with? You know what I mean? Our our element. We really our like what was going on. So it's like, 
it, it wasn't nothing that we, you know, we wanted. But hey, and, if you trip off of this, we though, dodging bullets. Yeah, I ain't <laughs> pocket, nigga. <laughs> But That's if you, we're dealing with now. you know how you say you see now, like you see the gang shit went all over across the, the states, now, right? Mm-hmm. Like and then it's it's like it's really a slap in the face for it to hit the East Coast, right? Because they was they when we was out, man, all y'all why y'all on that gang banging, killing Nin- each other? Nineteen ninety. I'm gonna put a date on you know it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know exactly because so, I was in New York when I heard. It. Now the shit is reversed. Just like we chase their culture. The Why y'all gangbang? We chase their culture of hip hop. Now they chasing our culture of gangs, the street shit. And we ain't even gangsters. You know? But at the same time, with it all reversed back, it's this shit is all tribal. It goes back to tribal. Yeah. You know, yeah. being territorial, you from that hood and that hood, and you you singing and you got the, the beats and drums, that's just the, the DNA showing out. You know what I mean? We almost there where we gonna figure this shit out. You know what I mean? Like it's coming close. together, yeah. like knowing who we are as people. You know what I mean? Facts. So if that's you know that's what I was tripping off of. But when uh, when we was rapping and singing, that was the highlight of talking about second to none. Oh, that ain't hip hop. It was like bang, okay, bang. how is that not hip hop, my nigga? When Houdini, Grandmaster Flash, and the Furious Five, Funky they Fro, was doing all Rush, that shit Wombo. before. Y'all you know what I mean? The East Coast group. We you, pay homage and we appreciate it. We did it over here. You know what I mean? Same time. That's just the problem. We did it over here and Eunice was getting sold. And you got their top rappers that been in the shit before us mm. wasn't selling no units. Great how, y'all accept, how was y'all accepted being signed to an East Coast based uh, well, label though? But within the because that's the executive world, it was because they they what well, the East Coast and hip hop didn't believe until like I said in the WA actually sold movie yep. units. Yeah, yeah. Then they started, wow, Compton. That's yeah, how yeah. We, we need came money. Yeah. We need to get some Compton. <laughs> so we need Compton in our life. On. Who yeah. is from who yeah. popping yeah. in Compton? But <laughs> but <laughs> you had to be talented. Re- for real. Please say but that. You, you had to, you you, you couldn't had come had in feel, sounding please. like nobody else. Please say Could, that. Man, you know what I mean? Tell please tell yeah, they didn't want another in WA. Nah. They wanted something from that culture out here. That you know what I mean? real. That's what y'all gave them, man. Y'all yeah. Two, y'all quick. We, we, and we based, we, we really based the principle off of, okay, them niggas show the street shit. We, we gonna show the fun side Everything. of comedy. Yeah. Parties, you know. You know. Real quick, I just want to shout out the homeboy Croft Dog, man. Shout I see. I, see. I spoke you know, to that nigga on. the other day. What's up, Croft? Yeah, yeah. He's my dog. Yeah, man. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Every Question. every year for his birthday, who, I talk to him. Who, who was some of y'all? Who was some of y'all label mates? Shit, biggest label mate was the biggest rappers in the world was Run DMC. Think about that, Rob Bass. Mm. Uh, before think about that though, Run DMC, yeah. duos and rap. Why would an East Coast base label after NWA makes some uh, noise and move units pick two dudes from Compton rapping their ass off? Hmm. Sound like yeah. a West Coast what? Yeah. Second and none. Run DMC. Run DMC. Yes, sir. DJ Quick. Same label. Um, Who else is on the label? Uh, Sweet T. No. Yeah. In too deep. In too deep. Uh, Barrington Levy, which is a bunch yeah, of biggest yeah, yeah, Jamaican, yeah, yeah. Jamaican yeah. artists, <laughs> you know. And but you know, uh, oh, poor Rogers teachers. Too. Poor Rogers teachers. They was hard back in the yeah, day. Yeah, Still yeah. is hard, you know. Yeah. But they was they was that was part of that positive hip hop. They was trying to push, and you know, we coming over here talking about you know bitches and hoes. We talking about what how we address uh-uh. shit in our shit. <laughs> <laughs> and, so go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, but go ahead, man. No, you know. I'm just what he's trailing off of what he's talking into. This goes up to how after being signed as a West Coast first West Coast group to an East Coast label, leading up to our first single, based on like how they were going in the positive route. Our first single was pleased the world, I guess, and hip hop, because they uh New York biased minds, East Coast biased minds at the time in hip hop. Our first single. The two dudes out of Compton was called Be True to Yourself. Uh. And it ain't had no hooks in it. So, yeah. See, see, but this is where the world wake up and pay attention to that. We ain't kissing New York and hip-hop ass, but we know how to... Okay, that's how y'all coming. We can do that, too. 
and they picked it for our first single. What 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 My violence are we what, what violence and game bank we promoting out of Compton with a first single called Be True, Be True, to, True to Yourself. Yourself. Right. You can hear it in every damn commercial. The See slogan. That? You know, we we didn't invent some things, but we perfected the shit out of it. Yeah, my favorite song off of the album, um, uh, Let the Rhythm Take You. Oh, yeah. Can I cut into that? I don't want to cut you off, but with Let the Rhythm Take You, and I believe, Kate, I share my sentiment of when I looked at the impact for me, duo, right? When I hear the sound of that record, when I look at Kid and Play, and I look at um, Ain't Gonna Hurt Nobody, right? And when I hear Let the Rhythm Take You, that feel of the music, I feel was what Second and None was able to capture with that Let the Rhythm Take You for me, you know? And it's such a huge... My favorite record is Why, but one of my favorite records right under there is Let the Rhythm Take You. And... Um, Gentlemen did a phenomenal job on that. Thank Go ahead, Twin. You. I was just sure. saying, let the rhythm take you, man. That video, the visual, whoever came up with the visual, to me, that was dope as fuck. That's you a know what that's mean? another story. You want to show our culture again with the lowriders and we at yeah. the beach. That's our shit. The you other side, the you know lowrider club. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to the other side. Cooking Big Momo, rest the in peace. Homies, yeah. Big Duck, Dave. All that. Shout out to hey. But yeah, man, that, that, that that's the third was single. Dope. And I'm gonna tell you, it's another, it's another song off the uh, classic. I think it's off the classic. Classic two two oh. Yeah, classic two two oh. Don't you um, hide it. Nah, we y'all was in the fifth. This the album that we jumped out the uh, fifth second album. Up, up, up in the club. Yeah. Up in the club. Yeah. Up in the club. Yeah, that's, that's that one, shit you know right there. Yeah. 1999. That visual, that visual, I'm, thinking, I'm, I'm talking about visuals. Yeah, that was, they that was visual. doing AI in that before. Uh, yeah, I remember before, that. Uh, yeah. I was, I was, I was told that Janet Jackson, Jackson, Jackson and twisted, them though. got uh, the one uh, between uh, yourself and the canal with underground. What goes up? Yeah, what goes up? What goes up? Yeah, oh, that was that y'all first video. That was our first video a year before our album came out. Now who? Niggas was on y'all album first, or was it on? It was on the red tape. So yeah, this will, let's go. Tape. Let's go back. Let's go back to the beginning yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. before, exactly. even before, even before, even before second and nine. Yeah. So yeah, everybody yeah. that don't know, y'all are blood related, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Cousins. His mama and my mama. So both cops to California. Exactly. Both. Yeah. So so Man. take us down. Take us down the timeline from 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 uh let's say, let's say from late seventy art. Childhood, from childhood to now. Can y'all take us down like a timeline? Teenage, like early teenage. teenage. Like, nah, early teenage. Nah, 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 let's go. Let's go from the beginning. Let's go from the beginning because it's it's yeah, more than you got to get into the roots right of Compton now. and the family and everything. So and the they essence can learn of, 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 of what make these two and why they make the type of content that they do and the environment that right. that, that encourage that. Yeah. So let's take well, it to the to the beginning. From 1970, 71. So I went to uh, all schools in Compton. I went to Dickinson Elementary um, in this fourth or fifth grade, if I can remember. Uh, that was my first start of uh, introduction of music outside of what I've in the home. We had always had music in, the, in my home, even going to church. You know, I was part of the choir, but I joined the Compton Boys Choir um, around the fifth Sixth grade, I heard about that yeah, Compton Boys yeah. Choir. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a. Uh, uh, I, I forgot choir. the lady name. The Compton Boys Choir. The Compton Boys Choir. What was the lady name? Uh, uh, Miss Ashley. Miss Ashley. It was. Remember, uh, man, I cannot say this word because it was the man. I'm trying to think of her name, but it was the man name was Doctor Faggot. And her name was yeah. uh, <laughs> The thoughts and opinions You think I'm lying Yo For real That shit's real name Man That's music real music. name bro You can check that She ain't got the pause Compton Unified School District How was you saying 1980 From like 80 Between 80 and 83 86 Yeah so music, music, music. Like French, like for God. No, no, no. <laughs> but that was that was the man. Like music. back at no, no, it was man. No, no, no. Yeah, Dr. Yeah. Bastine was that situation. So the, the, the when, lady, I joined, the lady, the when I joined, when I joined, it was a lady. Um, 
And I they forgot her name. Of them. It yeah, it was bad. both of them, but she was running it after Cleaver? No. Some something, something like that. Dr. Cleaver? Could be. Sound 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 close. Something like that. Miss Cleaver, Dr. Cleaver, and and Mr. Faggy. But anyhow, <laughs> she used to go to all the elementary schools, the junior highs and the high schools in Compton, and she'll have all the kids come in and uh audition for her. You know, you you were saying uh my country is a big <laughs> she wanna see if you got pitch. And if you you know, and I was chose. So that's crazy. Caught the boys choir. So then from uh you said you went to Dickerson. Did y'all went so K went to Washington Elementary. Well, well, that's where I landed up at when I moved from the east side to the west side of Compton. But prior to that, what years was that? You want to start from my beginnings? No, I'm saying in what years? You just said when you moved from the east to the west. Oh, but start from the east side? Yeah. Okay, when I was born and raised on the east side, 917 Van Ness off of Rosecrans, um, Ludus Park, my uh, birth and uh, growing up from 71 to probably... I stayed on the east side of Compton until around 84, 85. But my elementary schools, it started at Mel Elementary after kindergarten and all that. Amy what? Uh, down the street from Linwood High where they had the church back over there in the 70s and stuff where they taught you a head start and all that, kindergarten. Then I elevated to Mel Elementary. And then uh, Mel Elementary to the second grade moved on the dark east side, that's what they call the dark side over there, off of a white and a laundry between Murray and uh, I went to L. Kelly Elementary from the second grade to the third grade. He was on tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I was Compton Wide, baby. I didn't know what City Wide was. I was Compton Wide. Question. Question. Uh, yeah. What was, well, back to both sides. What was, uh, what was, what was the, the community and shit like at that, at that time, at that point? It wasn't oh, so shit. much. This, this, this is what, probably 81, 80, between 80 and 82, something like that. We, we grew up around... It was real Cripping Blood, but th- it was there. Yeah, we grew up around real men. You know what I mean? Real niggas, you know? Like... Tr- truck drivers. <laughs> in the back here. Truck what, drivers and buff-ass niggas. Wasn't nobody, you know, quick to be like, you get into with a nigga? In our chest and shit. Y- your chances of getting shot is slim. Man. You gonna fight. Yep. Man. That's, that's the difference, you know what I mean? It, you know, it... People, that's how it was, you know what I mean? I remember we was worried about the homies coming, pulling up, keeping, no, kidnapping us, uh, taking us to another neighborhood. Uh, we having water fights. No, we finna fight. We was having neighborhood water fights, like real live water fights. No, nah, <laughs> fruit fights. That, that, that too. Part. Grapefruits. <laughs> Plumagram. Hey, we do plum. Not, I, do not, I see that a lot in a lot of yards out Apples. here no more. The orange trees and apple trees and stuff. Like I saw that. something that blew my mind the other day, bro. I was riding down the street. And some kids was playing football in the street, in the Ooh. middle of the street, bro. Ooh. I stopped the car and sat there and let them get their little, you know what I'm saying, Ooh, quarters yeah. off. And when I rolled past, what I loved about the whole situation, bro, to keep it you, they was looking at me like, hey, this ain't no freeway. And I said, shit, we used to say the same hey. shit. Hey, you remember we used to play football in the street and then everybody be like, car, car, car. Oh, car. Yeah, car. Hey, you know what I mean? And then look, Man. don't go for a pass and turn around. Peek. And you just <laughs> on the All at the front end of the car. I had that happen a couple times. <laughs> so, yeah, hey, man. man. Oh, the soul out your and body. the rules, the rules was light pole to light pole. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, you remember? Remember? Oh hey, you, hey, now you remember the plays, right? We only had a few plays. Up and uh, look, I want you to do a down and out. Hey. <laughs> run, run, hey, ten, hey, run hey. five, and look, then slap. You, you gonna do a down and out, and then I want you, 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 you gonna streak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't you hate it when the, the, the quarterback mess up <laughs> the pass and then blame the one who call you over and show you on? I gotta show you on the call. The quarterback sneak. Exactly. Uh, that's the same thing we done did the whole right. day, nigga. Yeah, we been doing the running back, man. Running backs was called quarterback sneak. We had a bus <laughs> on the <a> real. <laughs> being from kid, black kid, little black kids from Compton, yeah. black young man from Compton. 
They had a blessed. Uh, oh yeah, thing, you, know? you ain't lying, but I, I forgot the other play too. <laughs> SOS. Same old thing. <laughs> yeah, right. And, and look, look, the acronyms don't even go. SOS. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so from that from from elementary moving on uh, okay junior. from the east side yeah. to Kelly Elementary, then moving from to the west side in third and fourth grade, I went to Carver Elementary near around 118th first for a minute. He went to all the motherfucking <laughs> elementary. <laughs> How many KK dudes this was This shit it? is new. There wasn't no punk. <laughs> so that's that's why... Hey, I never knew this man, shit. This shit on, new man. to me. <laughs> that's, 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 that's why all the OG so-called dudes that y'all say man. OGs today is my friends. Man, and we all grew up together. Both sides. East side, west side, blue and burgundy. So, and red out in LA to watch. So from the elementary coming up, when did y'all start like getting together and doing music? How, how did that come about? Like, was that what, around what time or age? Shit. Shit. First off, what what put Fourth, the mic? Who put grade. the mic in your hand? Like, you feel me? It, was, it wasn't even the off. mics yet. He it, started it, off. It, it was come the, on, man. the turntables nah. and shit. They was performing in the living room and like church. no, we didn't have no, we didn't have church. no church. That's physical it. mics. Well, at church Come we on, did. Man. He did, <laughs> but like <laughs> no, we, I, we, we, I talked. He was a child star. That was the orator. Like, like, <laughs> <church. laughs> <laughs> like, no, like, like <laughs> for me, <laughs> just stand back to back. <laughs> no, I was in the seventh grade. <laughs> I, I was in the seventh grade, man, and and my pops did the most gangster shit for me ever. I I can, like, man, I can, if I go get him up out of the grave right now, I'll still kiss and hug him. I asked him to go buy me two turntables and a Gemini mixer, and he came and scooped me up. Now this times with money is hard, you know what I mean? Yeah. He, you know, he made up for all the lost. Shit, all oh, that shit about the wind. He took me downtown, Man. L.A., bought me two turntables with the Gemini mixer. And I learned how to scratch. He uh, took me to the, you know, we used to go to the uh, record shops, buy our own records. And uh, I remember I went and bought Run DMC, Sucker MCs. I bought two of them. <laughs> and that's how I learned how to scratch, going back and forth and shit. Man. Early it, 80s. Shout out to your dad, Man to me. Man, Ronald. Yeah. Rest in peace, bro. Uncle Ronald. D is the one that got me instituted in DJing. Like I said, uh, or mentioned him before, we started off as DJs, all of us in our crew. Man, we I used to do all you of us. We did really everything. trying to fuck around. I wasn't really trying to rap. I was always in the background. <sighs> but I got pushed by homies from different sets. Cause I was always singing and shit, you know, you know. But they were like the teachers always grabbed me. To, that's how I wind up. Like you mentioned, the boys choir. I do my research. All the teachers and stuff. Did, you know, all the black <laughs> ladies with soul singing, and you know, she be the heads of the choir and all that. Come here, boy. I, 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 I got a message from y'all. Junior high and high school. I got a message ball, from y'all right? from, for y'all from Miss Baker from Davis. Yeah, my baby man. Junior she high. said, Miss Baker, she love y'all. And keep doing what y'all are doing, and she'll see y'all at the next show. That's one yeah. one uh, teacher that she in my phone now. I always talk to her. I talk to her at least about three or four times a year. Talk to her, check on her and stuff like that. But that was my seventh grade history teacher, man. And man, y'all got more of a direct connection. Y'all had yeah. a teacher. I had my teachers was. Uh, Oh, oh so, yeah. so I was about to say, do you even remember any of your teachers? Yeah, yeah she was fine. Said, yeah, you done had so many. Do you remember yeah, any yeah. of your teachers? Do I remember them? I, I remember their houses and their swimming pools in the backyards that they used yeah, to take I, me to. <laughs> it was about like that, seven, that seven kids. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. this started at Davis Junior High. The teachers had their favorites. She taught me that the word fuck was an acronym, and I never knew that. What is that? What is that? Yeah, I came. The I came a year before them in school, so the word my teachers fuck was is different. An acronym for it stands for for unlawful kernel knowledge. So when somebody back in the day, you couldn't fornicate. Okay. So if you got caught, if you got caught, then they'll put you in the middle of the town and put you in this. I forget the name of the thing, but they put you in this little thing and snap F U C K on your head. Wow. And your back, so the town. To know that y'all was fucking. Wow. Now, it, it stands for what again? 
for unlawful colonel knowledge. Damn. Colonel. Colonel. Yeah. yeah. It was a, a man. Colonel. Oh, like Colonel. Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Colonel Sanders. Yeah. Yeah. This was for his knowledge, bro. Yeah. That means, bro, like, hey, that's what they was doing, bro. Yeah, yeah for nice. the, the law back then. Yeah, it was the law so, back uh, then. His hey, law. Yeah, st- sticking on the timeline. Y'all both went to Davis? Yep. Going to junior high. Well, I was Davis y'all, junior was y'all high. already second to none then? Not, not at nah. that point. Nah. So we was already... Did y'all already know like the whole crew? Or, I like, did, because yeah, I, I like, came a year before. I met... Quick? All them? Quick yeah. Quick and Croft. Like Crawford? Yeah, like I stayed on occasion. So I stayed in the, right in the mi- middle of Palmer Block and on the edge of Treetop. So all the treetops, I knew them, and I knew all the Palmer Blocks. So, you know, as kids, you know, everybody that went to Dickinson was either from Palmer Block, it was Palmer Block, Treetops, and Fruit Towns. That's that's what that was. So I knew all them, you know. Crawford went to uh, Dickinson with him, you know. Uh, junior, uh, Crawford is high C. Went to, uh, you know, elementary, junior high, and high school with him. And uh, uh, quick, I met him in junior high. Junior high. So who, who was the initial person to say, hey, look, we come, we going to be a group? Yeah. All right. I, 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 just I, I, on I personally that. know. Go ahead, go ahead. You know, and it's my fucking favorite group. Like Boomer said, we've taken it back to the red tape. We're going to go back a little bit. I'm taking it back to the red tape. My fucking favorite group of all is the nigga. The okay, well, that's, that's kind of why I wasn't in the, the rushing, but let's, let's finish this point. Mother- okay. Oh, well, because okay. we was almost yeah. finished. Him telling his side and who we met in the timeline. Let's stick to this timeline and move that, to the next yeah, subject. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. D said his go side. Ahead, go ahead. And how he met Croft, which is how I see, and when he met Quick, r- relative to elementary and junior high. We ain't got mm-hmm. to high school yet. Now let's hear my side and how I met Quick and what year and how I met Croft. But we're going to start from where D in elementary, basically I'm in the sixth grade or he, he in the fifth or I'm in the fifth grade, he in the fourth grade. So y'all a year apart then? Yeah. No, we the same age. But, it, okay. but birthdays, for school wise, yeah. okay. and gotcha, that's gotcha. I'm gotcha. a year ahead as far as school wise. So I was introduced gotcha. to di- and I had different teachers, but a year ahead. Ain't nothing, no, you know, ain't no competitive shit. So people learn about the difference. It don't sound competitive. It's not competitive. It's just giving you facts yes. based on a real life timeline of how the events happen. So after D getting turntables and his pops and all that in elementary and who he went to school with, now at that time, how I see it quick, <clears throat> my tribe was because I was on tour. So I knew Carver Park. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to ask what school okay, was you at this whole time? This, this is from 80 to, to 83, to eight, 80 to 84. He told it, I'm just bringing it yeah, up to yeah, quick yeah, and high yeah. seat. And first, D, because he got turntables first. And and I'm going to say the name. It's Billy who stayed on Palmer. And that's what I got introduced to turntables by D having them by Billy being older than us. And I'm introduced to Billy through D. Yeah, Billy was my. Uh, you know, let's keep stick to the. When I was now. a kid, me and Billy, Billy was like shit, fifteen, and I probably was you know like uh, under ten, but me and him we used to raise pigeons together. <laughs> so we we had the biggest pigeon cage. I mean, well, we had the biggest flock, like bootlegging them. They had birds. But we had more birds. Bootlegging them, we'd come hit our cage and steal some birds and, and wouldn't even put a dent in our shit. You know what I mean? Early, At all. Early 80s. Like, we had supply. You know what I mean? <laughs> Billy Pops used to take us out to Riverside to this old white man. They used to have a big-ass sun cage, you know, full of pigeons. He used to say, go in there and get what y'all want. You know? And he, he, had, he had some real cold pigeons, you know? Pinston rollers, you know, all that type of shit. Suicide birds. Yeah, y'all, yeah. y'all, y'all was flipping the birds and all that too? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, that was the whole thing. Yeah, that's crazy. Look, look, watch roll down. Birds without flipping. Yeah. We had I, birds. I, I used to I have a see KK early 80s. I used to see KK with a shirt off standing on not, top of the house. No, no, I, I, I wasn't into the pigeons. No. I just, no, I, I just observed everything. Like I knew how to do shit, but I was doing something else. Yeah, I had a, I had a pigeon, man. 
it, it was uh, called uh, peanut butter and jelly. Uh, it was a it was it was a pretty colored pigeon. It was gray and it had a little red in it and a little brown in it too. We used to take peanut butter and jelly with us to Riverside. Every time we go, we throw peanut butter and jelly up and let her come back. I mean, let him come back by himself. He'd come back probably about two or three days from Riverside to Compton. That's crazy. But he always come back with a mate, a bird. That's why we used to do that. So he'd be he'd probably bring a a commie back. Sometimes he'll bring a roller back. You know what I mean? This nigga, 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 this he was nigga, this 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 and let that motherfucker, they, they go off of instincts. If they home here and they know they home, they'll come. That's why they call it a homie race. Right? But they, That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't never heard either. That's the race. So, yeah. from, home, so, so, so from that point of getting turntables, but, uh, back on to where you, where you met everybody. Okay, moving from the east side to the west side after going to Carver, then landing up on Spruce Street at 912 on the 900 block of Spruce. I landed up at the fifth grade at George Washington Elementary. It was off tour. Right. <laughs> I said I, I, I hey, it on the west side of Captain hey, on Spruce Street. Okay, he made a, he made a shitload of knowledge. Man. He made a shitload of knowledge. He came home and shit. I'm going to say DC. He had to come share with the other side I'm real quick. I'm going to get your ass a plaque. <laughs> 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 like D said, and again, this is tribal. He's been so, man, so many man. different tribes. You got yeah, these you know, so many shit. different other kids going man. through from Kelly to Carver to man. here to there. And, and, and learning their hoods and who yeah. they was. I didn't know that that was this dude. KK is yeah. a Compton Globetrotter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Compton Globetrotter. <laughs> Mona's, Carver's, Kelly's, Downtown yeah. Lava Drive, the, the Boulevard, Chris over there on Greenleaf, Long Beach yeah. Boulevard. Man. It's the early 80s. That's crazy. And it's like he said, like, man, back in them days, you hear stories <laughs> just from you living in one, like, just because you live on this side and you going through different, man, I heard you can get your ass beat coming up that street. You get what man. I'm saying? So just think about it, bro, to go to man. all the different street schools and all and that, that stuff and, to be yeah, from where crazy. you from. I'm from Compton. Where you from? Yeah. That's when that kicked off. Yeah. Yeah. Early A. I'm from Compton. Yeah, that's... What's your that's... name, dude? <laughs> KK. My grandma and my mama gave me that nickname, like, from birth, dude. In our family, we had, like, nicknames. Wasn't no rap name, so let's get that clear. What's my rap name and shit? No, that ain't KK. Yeah, that's it. What was your name? My teachers called me KK. Believe it or not, I didn't I didn't have no nickname. It was Dion. That was my name. Everybody called me Dion. Uh, my, my, daddy, my daddy called me Dolomite. Yeah. That was, that was, yeah, you know what I mean? And you know, my mom, she called me uh Dion. She didn't give me no nickname. But when she uh when it was time to get my ass whooped, it's, it's Jere. Jere, get your ass in here. Uh, yeah. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Let's, let's, okay, let's, let's keep it going. Oh, David, picking up, okay. It. it was uh leaving at George Washington where I met Front Hoods, Fruit Towns. Uh I didn't know they were Caesar Blocks yet. Uh one five ones, treetops, uh On the other side of the back end, uh, the other side of front hood and the back end of fruit town, pocket hoods. So I met them in fifth grade, sixth grade. Sixth grade, the year after uh, school in sixth grade, playing around and belling down the crayons with my khaki crease back to Ludus Park because that's where all my friends was on the east side. So that's the, my stories of belling down the crayons. That's how I met uh, my homie Mike P. Or, Quick stayed next door to Mike P. Mike P was my best, uh, my home or best friend then from East Side dude moved to the West Side. Most of the treetops, you know. I didn't go to elementary with them. I, went, I met them in seventh grade, eighty three, you know. So, but um, that's where it lead up to meeting Croft in seventh grade, eighty three, and Quick. Cause I was already infused in music or my my track record from elementary. From all the music shit and putting me in vocal and vice and choir and Bon Counter Boy Choir from elementary. It was already, my classes was already pre prepped. So right? that's crazy. So, Y'all was, oh, go ahead, Trent. So, did you know 
<clears throat> Crawford already knew D. Nah, I didn't know. That's what I was gonna say. Y'all kind of had your own. Yeah, we had. That's crazy. So it was. It was going. It was already happening anyway. That's dope. Through, through DJing, that's how we all met. And a lot of people don't know, like back then, y'all was doing playing instruments, DJing, all kind of stuff. Doing everything, you know. And and too, you can't forget too, like back then, kids. This when we were kids, me how to DJ. So I just, I mean, not to throw you. He taught me how to scratch through Billy and him. All right, go ahead. My bad, dog. Like for us as kids, just like K said, he used to be able to walk from Spruce, Wilmington. All the way to Long Beach Boulevard. Yep. We we were wanderers, man. We back then, you know, that wasn't that wasn't like no taboo. You know yeah, what I mean? No fun Kids, right here, man. nigga, when, when your mama tell you back then, it, it wasn't no it was sit in the house. Get get out this house. Get out the house. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Go go be learn back some, in before the street lights shit. come on. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then, to do it next and time. then you know, it wasn't no cell phones <laughs> or none of that shit. Niggas just knew what where everybody was gonna be at. You know what I mean? Now that you think about it, well, that's the coldest shit ever. Man, that's, I mean, I feel sorry for this generation because they don't get a chance to explore it, you know? And, and the right. way it's stunning their growth. They'll never be able to experience what we've experienced because I'm a little older than the, you know, the rest of the cats in the yard. But, you know. But shit, we got these same experience. I understand yeah. that. But at the same time, different, 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 different eras. You'll yeah, never yeah, be yeah, able exactly. to eras. experience yeah. the shit that we went through. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, as growing up as kids. And we, it was fun. We yeah. had fucking fun. It was fun everywhere. Yeah, see, you might have, you know, you might say, yeah, your experience is a little different. No, your graphics was more b better on the Nintendo. We had Atari. So we play that, you know what I mean? No, I, I mean it. I mean, I mean it from in a sense. I mean it. When I say that, when I say that, I mean it from in a sense. Like, I grew up with the whole my grandmothers and yeah. you know great aunts and shit like that. Yeah, so yeah. I knew about the whole go out the house, get yeah. out, the get house, out the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. was still able to okay. you know do that yeah. at yeah. a certain point. Bless, bless your heart. Yeah, you feel like bless your heart. We were we were we were like that the last of the Mohican as they call it. Like you feel me? Like we didn't we didn't get stifled by everything that's going on now. You know, we yeah, still yeah. got a little glimpse of that. And yeah. then it turned into the whole, like, oh, now we got to keep y'all a little closer because shit getting out of hand, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh. yeah, yeah. It ain't right. what it used to be. We like you know? the last, we the, we the last generation of young. You know, because my, the bridge, the bridge, the gap. you know, and that's, that's my, what you said. my mom and she used to yeah. tell me, and aunties and she used to tell me about the stories about, oh, they used to send the kids to the store, you know, mm -hmm. they Open had a cigarettes. note, you feel me, like, yeah, here, they'll pay you at a certain time, and two hey. packs of cigarettes with a note, you feel will send me, me to in elementary, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, uh, two pieces of poker, yeah, my mom used to send me, that's how I'll be on poker now, man, yeah, my mom used to send me to the, to the stove Man, and uh, with the note a uh, pack of Virginia <laughs> Slims and I remember it, it the, the letter always read off to whom may concern <laughs> <laughs> who the fuck was Please. that that was my <laughs> mama right there but they knew though yeah, yeah, they, they knew this you feel me they cursed they see too that good kid, for this they like, they like, they know about it they already know you gotta be here with the parent or your parent uh -huh. kid. See, that's the yeah. thing. Like, they knew exactly community. what you got, right. what you was getting. Uh, it's, you feel me? Too and young and right this good. Whenever it was time to pay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. With the, with the, with the food stamp. Yeah, you feel me? That's a yeah, you got the $5, $2 food Oh, man, you don't even want to talk about the food stamp the shit. I got one in my office right now, man. I've never been embarrassed at the book. Hey, hey, listen. Listen, when we was younger, nigga, because you didn't come up when we came up, nigga. And the only reason why the, I keep a food stamp in my office right now, bro, is to remind me where the fuck I come from. Nigga, we used to, like we used to bag, Man. every motherfuckers used to bag Man. on each other, my For nigga. Like, stamp. you can't be on the county, nigga. I you know what I mean? My mama, that, man, sending nigga, me to the store. Hey, I, I had cash. Going to the county bill, yeah. Nigga, for real, yeah. man. I'm embarrassed because I got these food stamps. It's book. Hey, nigga. Man, I'm sad. I'm like, yeah, man. Everybody going to see me and shit. Hey, look, look. I didn't understand. Nigga be in line. Nigga be in line at the store, right? At the, you know, the you know the corner store. You be in line and shit. And you about to pay for this shit. Then one of your little homies come in and shit. Then you be like, 
Oh, what's up, man? You know, you like wait until this nigga leave because you don't want him to see. You don't want him to see that shit. Oh, that girl you know? is like, hey, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's real shit. Hey, he act like he forgot something. Oh, she said get corn stores too, huh? Yeah. Go to the back, man. I'm telling you, man. So hey. from there, okay, y'all at Davis now. Y'all, y'all know the same people from y'all own Tyler past shows. And uh, well, when I got there in '83 to Davis. You know, it was ba- really based on well, my classes was based around music and shit. All right, and that same yeah. says well, Quick and Croft. We was there in '83. Was it, uh, the teachers? Not to cut you off. Was, was y'all in any sports? Like, I ran track at Davis and I tried out for basketball, but then you know I was too short back then. I was into the music. Uh, I was in the choir with '83. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Then. Hall. <laughs> I was short. I was shorter than uh. uh Don Juan and all the mother niggas and shit. <laughs> okay, so 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 y'all that's crazy. So y'all, man. So sports. 440. But you said talent yard shows. Yard. Yeah, so y'all was shows doing talent shows. Was, talent shows was, was the biggest thing going on back in school back then. David Junior High. You know what I mean? That's crazy. Quick Me, uh Cook. used to come up with there and Quick, he was uh DJing back then. Damn, when Mitch when Master when it was time White. to do shows or or uh, dances, Wine, uh, they that Wesley. nigga would he was DJing go, the dances. Yeah, he he would go yeah. home. Him, Wine, right Wesley, down the damn. Sean White, and bring Wine, Wesley, Wesley, Wesley <laughs> Quick, the speakers, Black yeah. Sean. Yeah. Yes, oh, oh, man, I'm glad you said White, Sean Wesley, DJ White talk, DJ White, Sean White, man, that's what I do, man. That's what I do, Jano and Juan Wesley. I just saw Sean his older brother, Sean older brother. He don't get no props. Darcy and Sean from Palmer. We finna give him props. He don't get no props. Look, look, we finna give him right now. Look, look, right now. Shout out to DJ White, my dude. Sean Whitehurst, Marbury Block, nigga. Sean Whitehurst, Marbury Block. 83, nigga. Sean Whitehurst was the first DJing, scratching among us. Other than, you know, on this side. West side of the On, on, You know, on on, on, on that side. 83 through 87. He was, you know, he originally was going to be part of the group. You know, all of us. Wow. Yeah, That's come wild. come with us, dog. Man. That's wild. See, I didn't That's know that. Wild. No, it was extended to him. Your roses yeah, it was extended, it was, it was extended to us. him. It was extended to him. Homie. Quick Homie. one. You know, he learned That's a lot from hey, Sean. Hey, DJ, hey, Sean, cool. look, check That's this out, man. You got to step this. into the yard yeah, for real because we need to hear that. Yeah. He knew that. He know it. No, he going to step into the yard. I got his number. Yeah. I got your number, boy. Coming to the yard for sure. And spe- speaking yeah, of speech hey, on he the gotta pull up. All then. we doing is filling in the blanks of history with facts. That's all we yeah. doing. I want to yeah. fill in some blanks, too, because y'all talk about choir. Hey, hold on. I mean, we got to... Let the story continue. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because they, they wrote about the choir. The choir, because I've heard, uh, and again, D especially, vocal talent, s- singing on records, like Let the Rhythm Take You, even some of them ad libs on Why Again. I'm just, my, yeah, some yeah. of my favorite records. That part when you illustrated how you was locked up. Uh, the dude got locked up for the shoot. Yeah. He was like, stressed out of Maraloma. Yeah. Yeah. My mama stressed out because I'm in a coma. Yeah. So that singing, that's D singing she, on the records, right? Yeah. Some yeah. of them records. Yeah. Well, yeah. A, a lot of it. Everything. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. I mean, just like Man. your favorite song, The Rhythm Take You. Yeah. That song originally... I came in, AMG was doing the track. Right. Okay, so so the when drums. okay. So for bam. Okay, so from y'all know Croft, y'all know quick. Um when did AMG come in the picture? Because AMG That it, came in nineteen ninety after yeah. Greedy Greg. So we jumping from uh Yeah, even before then high because y'all had y'all was doing stuff. AMG before, wasn't right? in the picture right, until right. nineteen ninety. So what was y'all first like we Recording. second and none? Okay. All right. Before it, even we put a name to it. What did we call it? It, it was, was Kazzy K. <laughs> this this go this go. No, look, 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 look. We finna break down with hip hop because yeah. he was Kazzy K Coast and I was Diamond for, D from Pop Locking. And we had khaki suits back then. You had the iron on the Preston with your fucking name on it. I changed it from Kazzy K to Sir Wade. 
And that's what I had running down my left leg. Sir, Sir Wave. Wave, no shit. Uh-huh. Sir, Sir Wave. Wave. Oh. Hey, oh, hey, nigga, hey, nigga this is when he was popping. Hey, nigga. Hey, yeah, nigga. <laughs> Better down Compton Boulevard <laughs> to the khaki <laughs> store, nigga. Sir Wave. Everybody hey. know that store hey. on the left hand side. Listen. Listen. Compton Boulevard, oh. downtown Compton. Oh, oh, I went and got my khakis. Okay. Yeah, uh, damn. What passed for old Woolworths and shit used to be. On Compton Boulevard, downtown Compton. But no, 84. no, it was a thing of everybody uh, going there, yeah, getting the their shit. The Dickie store or some yeah. shit. You go khaki to the Dickie store, store they put it on. Like they iron on your yeah. name. Well, I went there and got my beige khaki suit with my brown ass legs yeah. printed on. With so Sir Wave on the side. Sir Wave on the side. Show hey. 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 David Jr. High in 84. You know I'm going to ride that wave all the way out, brother. That nigga had Sir Wave. You're going to be black waves to me. This before hip hop hit. Listen. Man, first. I had some uh some powder blue khakis. Can you touch, nigga, Africa. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Don't hurt him, K. Nigga, Don't hurt him, K. Oh, so way. Way. That, that must mean, in the yard. That must mean we got knowledge too. I know about Africa. Don't you hurt him, sir. Waves. Ooh, sir. Hey, Waves, nigga. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell y'all some funny Ooh. shit. Okay. <laughs> no, tell me in the yard. Real shit. I'm Do you nigga? remember this? Yes, sir. <laughs> Do you remember this? I had I had them uh them uh uh they were they were uh powder blue khakis I had. Oh man. Look, I had some powder blue khakis, my nigga. And I had the the red, I had took them down to the khaki store so they could put red Sagittarius on the side. Oh man. All the way down the line. So it's it's early age. Nigga, this is the thing that all the homies was doing. They put their name, you had niggas putting their hood on their oh, shit. Man. No, for like, real. Like on some real man. shit. Yeah. Early I, I 80s. The had, uh, Matter of fact, <laughs> I'm gonna get some khakis and I'm gonna I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna go show, find a place nigga. where they can nice put that iron on. I'm talking about bring it. I know we got because the homeboys had the I know it's a picture. I got 85 pictures, but I was in Fruit Town on Peace Street. The homies had uh uh had the invaders, and then they had another uh another little little it was some pretty boys. They thought they was the shit too. Um like you. Can't think of their name. Oh, We're at the shit, 10? Bro. You have my mom. We're at the 10? Are oh, you talking about... Uh, the you talking about Charles no, and them? Don Juan and them, man. That's, oh. where, that's where his name came from. Okay, Don Juan. The Fly. Okay. Yeah, the Fly yeah, Guys. The Fly Guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was my group at Davis. The Fly oh, Guys man. with a Z on the end. Yeah, that's how they had... 85, nigga. Yeah, so I can test it. I remember that. I don't remember. I wasn't a part of it, but, you know, my brother is older, and I remember my brother having some shit like that. You know what I mean? That's crazy. But I, right. boy, yeah. boy, you fuck me up. With so you I got one. pictures was... from '85. All right, right, I, yeah. So, all right. So '85. Right. What was that? What, what, what so, uh, was I in '85? Some of these uh, names. What was I in '85? So yeah, the, the uh. What, what, what was going on in '85? Skyland. Man, oh my God. It's Compton Life in the West and East. It's the, between Ludus Park, Campanella Park, and just Park. House parties. House parties. Uh in the mob what we came later the mob with my James uh, was cracking. That's that's was, 90. Was, was music Way going yet? Or y'all still DJing at this point? Okay. Yeah, I, after the DJing, what can, happened uh, before was the, before that, can I just go ahead? Because everybody on the east side before I moved, uh, when the hood took me, I was loaded. My first time was Mayball, my older relative, <laughs> Sugar Bear. We went to this party. I don't know if it was in a it was, it Lime was, Hood or something. It was this in the Lime early Hood. 80s. No, matter of fact, excuse me. It was oh, in Hollywood. Hollywood. It was my a bad. Hollywood party. Where y'all oh, was at? Oh, man. This early 80s. We was going to Hollywood. It was a party, party at, at one of the homies' house. Okay. And it was, it was a Hollywood party. Man, I was and, loaded. And <laughs> they told Gay, they were like, uh, <laughs> get, 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 get. my big relative, Sugar Bear, he say, Oh, let let K on, cause he know how to DJ too, yeah. right? So he get <laughs> my, my at that time my favorite scratch was hit it. I'm- <laughs> hey, K was on that motherfucker. He was loaded. I was loaded though. This that nigga was it. That nigga shit was like, you know what I mean? Boomers is all yeah. Hey, that's funny. Yeah, uh, but those that was at that party, you saw this, the older niggas. They still tell me, "Black, like, you was loaded that night." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, right before uh, I believe that we got the name, he could correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I started Paul's mixing. That's that's called you know that's when you have two cassette, uh, cassette, cassette, cassette that double cassettes. One I have the music and I have a blank one, so I'll I'll uh, play this side and get 
four bars. Boom, clap, boom, doom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom. And I pause it. And I rewind that one. And I go right back again. Boom, clap, boom, boom, clap, boom, boom. I unpause this side. So I'm making a song. Now you got a loop. Yeah, yeah I was making it. a loop. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So, so we take that shit. We go to... Uh, after uh, Magic Mountain... After we go to yeah, we go to Magic Mountain yeah. one time because they had a a, a studio it was thing called, called uh, America Center Stage, America Center Stage That's and crazy. American Record Studio. So you can go there and and you can you know Damn. karaoke off of somebody else's song. Get you a, a cassette that recorded. Right? But we was like, nah, put this tape in. We yeah, don't want to we do, got our you know, own beat. Yeah, put this in. Hey, you know what I mean? <laughs> Like on some real <laughs> shit, hey, we got yeah. a strong yeah. yeah. arm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit! Yeah. That was a yeah. Found a way. Yeah. 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 Studio yeah. time. Yeah. yeah, so we did it at Magic Mountain. We uh, That's crazy. Oh, the first time we did it at Magic Mountain, we did uh, Roger, I want to be your man. We singing that and <laughs> oh, shit. Man. You know, oh, yes. we, you know yeah. what I yeah. mean? Oh, we, we got yeah. girlfriends and shit, so we singing. You know, we trying to grow in there. Look what we made, man. made you. You know what I mean? That shit, right? Yeah, baby, go cassette. So after you know that happened. We was like, okay, I make another track, you know, just like pause mixing. And I think it was uh, uh, Ice Cream Tea. She was a, a rapper back then. But anyway, we go to Lakewood Mall. Lakewood Mall, they got the same thing in there. Yeah. Center stage shit. Closer. You know, so we go in there. It, it, never forget it. it me, KK, and Mike P. Remember that? Yeah. Yep. Mike P, oh, shout out. Hey. Like, so we go in there. They say, well, what song y'all want to do? We want to do this tape. Well, you know, y'all got to pick a song. No, put that, this that, tape in. That was the second time that we yeah. went. Yeah. With Mike P. First oh, time. yeah. The first second, time was with, with Sugar Bear. Sugar Bear and, and Rest. <laughs> and, oh, and I ordered what was our name? And Sugar I ordered, Bear. What was our name? And I ordered relative Lonnie, which we called La La. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was our manager. Yeah. He was like, well, it was four of us. Watch, <laughs> watch this. What was our name? It was four of us, yeah. and they thought oh, they was in. Shit. I'm like, me and D, like, y'all niggas ain't rapping, though. Wait a minute. <laughs> Hey, Four wrote, Tan Clan. Four Tan Clan. We Four tough ass niggas. <laughs> yeah, that was the name of the group. We was thinking about getting it tatted, so when we hit niggas, <laughs> it'll stick on them. Four, ta- Four tough uh, ass niggas. Hey, friend. nigga. This hey, is the K-Clan. essence, man. It was K-K. With a K, nigga. It was me. Uh, nigga, I'm it was Sugar Bear. Say 80s, on that one. Sugar Bear uh, and, and 80s, my cousin nigga. Lala. Yeah. Lonnie. That Lala was in there. Four tough ass niggas. Hey, K. <laughs> was it? Hey, this this is. Uh, what year was that? K, nigga. I don't this know exactly. 84, it's in the 80s. 84, 85. Yeah. Damn. Nigga, Look, I, got, I still got that yellow and white cassette. It's a yellow and white pla- uh, paper. This cassette is black. I still got the cassette. We That's sample crazy. Public Enemy. I, I, I mean, not sample. It was about like two or three tapes. Public Enemy. This before I quit. This before all that. Uh, that CD was on the pause mixing like a motherfucker. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He was DJing before watch this, me. watch this. Get out your car. Oh, uh, damn. Yo, throw your hands hey, up. If, if you, you don't want to die, die, you better give it up. up. <laughs> yeah, jacking, nigga. That's, that was, that's that was the, the shit. Fo- that was the Fulton. Yeah, I thought yeah, that was the Fulton clan. clan. Yeah. Man, yeah, yeah, get out your car. Yo, Yo throw your hands up. up. If, if you, you don't, don't want to die, you better ah, give it up. Shit, hey, I wish I had a video of that. Right <laughs> <Man. laughs> what, what, year, what year was that? 84, 85. Yeah. It was on that tour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. baby. Yeah. That's crazy. So, look, look, look. Yeah, yeah. 14, no disrespect 15. to the sugar bear, but that's my relative. <laughs> Me and Kay, after the fact, we looked at him and shit. We was like, nah, he can't nah, rap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it was it was trying for a minute, three of a kind, you know. Nah, it's too corny, dog. Oh, okay, we can't forget about this. Oh. Now if we're finna really blow your bond. Oh. All right, the homie, I forget his name. He was he was uh he was way older. He was a grown ass man. Oh wait a minute. This nigga used to rap, but he blew me and came way with. It. He rapped English and Spanish. Oh wait Damn. a minute. Look, it's coming. It's going to come. Let me finish. So this was our very first gig. This was when I was a DJ. Kate was rapping. And he was rapping with the homie that was from East Coast. Uh, oh, Kiki. 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 Kiki OG. OG Nigga, Kiki. We go do a show. In the motherfucking... In the jungle. In the jungle. At the gym. We He older than us. <laughs> this older before, than us. Look, this we before, don't know. Yeah, though, this I, before banging, you know, we really, ain't even really connected on off. no banging shit. 
man. But he's an older nigga. He from East Coast. Right. So as soon as we go in there and we set up and do do the shit, you know, I'm they recognize him as man. a crip in jungles. In the jungle. They were like, this that's him. We ain't so, knowing though. He like, man, these motherfuckers tripping. You know, he he with the business. He ready to scrap and shit. Yeah, he, but we two young ass niggas. Like we kids. 80s. We yeah. kids, we probably probably about 12. 14, no more than 14, 15. You know what like I mean? That. We That's young, crazy. dog. We, we young. And uh, the, oh, I remember this nigga was like, man, D, give me one of them. Uh, no, he said, give me one of them goddamn turntables, man. I might have to hit one of them niggas <laughs> <laughs> over the head. Right? And I'm like, yeah, oh, and I'm, like I'm like, man, don't break my <laughs> turntable. <laughs> 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 hey, we we're at the gym. What's it, Jim Gillian Park? We in the gym. We in the jungle. Inside, on stage. And all they was having a, the uh, they was having the a talent show. This the mid eighties, my nigga. Y'all was uh, killing them talent shows. Yeah, no, that's, oh, well, that man. was the thing right. back right. then. Hey, let's that's the next. Uh, after this, let's get into that. That was the thing back then. Man, talent man, shows, talent and, shows. And, you know what I mean? Get taking their money because uh, they talent shows cause they couldn't sports. rap. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Niggas couldn't rap. They thought they could. So it come along us. So what came after the four chain clan? Y'all start narrowing it down. Every three of a kind wasn't gonna work. It's only two of us left. Yeah. So, man, y'all should be this. That this the name y'all should be. You yeah. know, two of a kind. Let's get that corny <laughs> shit out of here. That's nigga. Corny. Man, you know, two make it better. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> hey, that sound like a TV show. Oh, the real. <laughs> like said, everybody want to pitch in because they want to be the manager. They want they want their tip. My memory is fucked up, but I I, I do remember point. this I right remember here. This shit. I remember <laughs> the day we we decided. To f- we we was me and Kay we was in this nigga room on Spruce it's in the bedroom and then we was like nigga we gotta God figure out a name second and no man and that's that, that was the day when we figured out none. second and none man Keep God first yeah second and no man well you know nigga don't want to be too aggressive and arrogant yeah. instead of saying second and no man so we'll come off come off wrong. that name man second that, to none that name was spiritually <laughs> chose man. exactly. That's y'all, great. Y'all, those t-shirts y'all had, man, was, was the shit. I ain't even gonna lie. I wanted one. Every time I see one of you niggas with one of them shirts on, I was like, hey, I gotta have that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, hey. So, so from second to nine, what year was that? Do y'all remember? 89, 88, 89. So, okay. Did y'all, was y'all already, y'all, okay, so y'all second to nine from there. When did the underground taste? Mm-hmm. Was y'all, y'all was doing talent shows and all that, but 90. when did people start like 89, really 89, getting in tune with y'all? Like eighty nine, end eighty nine, going to uh, right well, before, the, right end before of that summer, red tape. The red tape was ninety, but the end so of eighty nine. Hey, 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 two. The the end, the the, the last quarter eighty nine from after the summer, going back into school. Because right, the, so the beginning of eighty nine, late eighty eight. Is when me and Kay started leaving Compton to go to LA. Yeah. Cause Quick had was out at Penthouse. Okay. So so did the red tape That's nineteen ninety. The so, red tape is nineteen ninety. Okay. We at eighty eight, eighty nine. Can y'all keep it down, right, but I'm please? Saying, like, keep it down. After the red tape. Cause I know y'all did the red tape, right, man? That's nineteen ninety. After the red tape? Did it, how big was the red tape back the red then? Tape. Did it go? I mean, was it big, big like it is now? Nationwide. Hell yeah. Because you got to think about the hustle and the grind in the mid 80s. Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, from how did 80, that, how from did 82, but our, our rapping wasn't involved. Niggas started moving. Was y'all like across Georgia, Chicago? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I saw, so y'all this, y'all in left. I saw this in elementary. Y'all, y'all left. They still left. the tapes. No, nah, they left in 80, 89. With the first startup before the red tape. When we put the red tape together, it took probably about a month or two after the red tape was out. When we heard somebody was saying uh, from Texas said, man, we got y'all tape, man. That motherfucker hard. That's crazy. Right so back then, then, Chicago. And that tape Atlanta, was dubbed. Georgia. Dub meaning uh, copy, yeah, yeah, yeah. copy, yeah. copy. That's I crazy. Had, I had copy. Ohio. I had one of the yeah. original, original, yeah. original nah. red tape cassette. Uh, the red tape was ninety though. I had but one of the original tape. red. Oh, matter of yeah. fact, I had two of them because I was trying to give one in Nevada to uh, my relatives out there and shit. 
Well, saying? you know, I, I want to give a shout out, like, on some real shit. The Red Tape was successful with us putting, you know, our heart into it. But we learned that game from Mixed Master Spade. That's, that's, that's where a lot of... Shout out Spade. And you red, know what I mean? Uh -huh. Leaving off the Red Tape yeah. real quick. When y'all go back and y'all keep bringing this Red Tape up, when you listen... If you take away AMG songs and ain't to discredit nothing, but that red tape is mostly second to none first album. For real. Added with AMG's Bitch Better Have My Money and D. Word to the D, y'all, and quick on some of the songs like The Loked Out Hood Terror, and all that shit. Loked Out Hood, but yeah. that red tape is predominantly second to none first album. So y'all go back and check y'all facts and history when y'all keep bringing that red and tape. And the only reason why, one of the reasons why, we, hold that thought, yeah. one of the reasons why we chose that tape to be read, it wasn't just on no no pie root thing. No. We wanted to make it different because Spade tapes was always clear. You know what I mean? We wanted okay. to, you know, show a different, different. like, it's a, this is a different tape. History. You know what I mean? And again, you know this is ours. Yeah, yeah like, I, you know, like I was saying. You know this one ours. Like I was saying earlier, again, the red And Quick tape, found the color of the, the tapes. Tape, but he brought us Spade. Go ahead. Go the red ahead. tape to me was... Again, don't nobody know if y'all don't know the DEA. The DEA. Dope Enforcement Dope Alliance. Enforcement Alliance. I didn't make that name up, so yeah, yeah, I'm getting no, crazy. No, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying, but that I was ain't got shit to do with that name. Let, I mean, I'm from? just saying. It <laughs> Quick. Was DEA. Quick. And, Quick. And like, to Dope me, back then, when the Red Alliance. Tape came out, they was a group. They was the DEA <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already knew the individuals, yeah, but... That, yeah. that's, they was they was the group to me. You know what I'm saying? Well, we was yeah. trying to you like 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 I see what Quick was trying to do. He was trying to you know like make controversy of uh this is you know they they go take Dig guns it. and don't you. you know what I mean? <laughs> so but we no, talking nigga. about guns yes. and don't <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you know shit like that. So whatever the case may be. Yeah. yeah. So it was it just it was it was a mockery. That's yeah. all it was. Don't you know what I mean? Stop. I'm just saying it makes sense. <laughs> no, no. Just stop, my nigga. Makes no, sense with nah, that's too from the country. We us, part. nigga. That's them. You know what I'm saying? Let's so separate right. this now. That's them. No initials. No that's acronyms. Sad. Nigga, we us. We not a group. We individuals at the same time doing shit. We homies. Right, true, true. And we I'm came together saying, through music. Fuck that I little didn't know three letter. Concept it, of the, of the, ain't gonna be no shit. three letter initials for no group shit. We ain't no group. Man. It's too, too so hard. listen. Nah, nah, we a group, but a five individuals, like yeah, other yeah, five yeah. individuals, that was a group I, I, called. That's that. what I just okay, said. Okay, but I said, but I said, I said what I time, said. DA, what I said we're not was, finna go listen, under no DA. Listen, Fuck it, it don't work. I didn't say that. <laughs> so back on spot, I just don't work. said, <laughs> said I, I know. know. Mix Master Spade, now I'm ready to try. Mix Master Spade, discovered second to none, and Scotty D. Spence. I said, I know, or no, the individuals. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not mm -hmm. calling y'all a group. I'm yes. just saying. People, people I knew. I knew. Right, right. I just thought that was a dope concept. Right. Back then. I, I, I agree. People, That's what I I'm agree saying. with I mean, at that time. Because both of you guys sense. are right in, in a sense. Because didn't people sense. looked at us like it wasn't no individual the name. They, they looked at us as a they group us when we came on that tape. The Compton they, Posse. You know what I mean? They, they looked at us as a group. They didn't call us the DA. They, the Compton Posse. So you see where it didn't make sense. You emulate. Know. I'm telling you, like this three letters, and it means like niggas with attitude is three letters. DEA is the same shit. Right. You duplicating, you're copying. We did that one. Quit that, biting. And that's what I'm saying. It like, don't make no fucking sense. Like, that's why. I did, that's why it's not here. That's what it was. It so y'all other niggas understand that this don't make sense. That was pretty much copycatting. It. Talking to your mic. Yeah. The next person was talking right. about. Right. At that time, when West Coast Q talking about Biden and shit, right? All this shit we talking about, nigga would have got socked. <laughs> Remember how Biden and shit and all this shit so-called was? Right, right. Right. So, fuck we talking about? It didn't make no sense because from the streets and where we come from and how we grew up in our culture, you don't copy nobody. Fuck Biden. Yeah, we we That's we all just was shit. like you know just I'm trying copying that nigga on me to do uh -huh. and we do, us do, nigga us you know what I mean so we us when did y'all meet uh Spade before oh, man. all that shit doing the talent shows and going back to talent shows where we left off at and 
We knew we was better than niggas. So they they had we a, was taking their money. They had a yeah, tell us they had a talent show. Hold on. We put twenty down and get that. Before money. before we continue, if y'all don't know who Mixed Master Spade is and Scotty D. And y'all talking about Compton, Scotty D and, and you said the Compton Posse? No, they called instead of the DEA, people were because they didn't know who the fuck we was. Before the DA, the Compton Posse. So Mixed Master Spade was, was before y'all, right? Mixed Master Spade and Scotty Dino oh, yeah, way back in, us, in yeah. the what late about 80s. T and, and the 90s, way before they were putting on talent shows to look for talent. Way before, yeah. Because you had to have talent in the 80s before the, when this hip-hop shit kicked off. Was they after, was looking for raw talent. That was after the battle ram and all that shit. The, the first yeah, motherfucker right? that put out a, a dope a, 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 a album that I remember that was dope and, and it was a complete Compton project was King, King T. T. Man, what year? Y'all know what year that was? Well, you, you can go look that up on there. Yeah. yeah, what was that? Act fin, act a fool, act a fool, act a fool with the Cadillac and yeah. the gray khaki suit on. DJ Pooh with, uh, with, with the twelve gauge. Yeah, twelve gauge. Yeah, the twelve gauge. Yeah. 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 That's gonna be one of my yeah. questions. So, so who, who, who was who was some of y'all y'all influences? You know what I'm saying? As far as well, I mean, R&B and like, soul music. Yeah, dance when rapping hit. Everybody yeah. knew Sugar Hill, but as far as influence, that was influence on the world. Influence the that we can relate we, to was, was, we, we was bumping yeah. King, King T and, and Spade, Toddy T, Toddy T, King OG T. Uh, uh, DJ we can't, we, we can't forget uh, Mix Master King, yeah. Mix Master King yeah. with the yeah. helicopter. Yeah. yeah, you know, so uh, the real nigga. Oh, a lot of y'all yeah. don't even know this history, and we're gonna get this on point. Y'all gonna look it up in y'all fucking phones. All right, we're going to take the message of Melly Mel and them and that impact it had on hip-hop and so-called rap, right? Or so-called hip-hop and rap. The message, broken glass everywhere. Yeah. All right, it's a dude over here, Captain Rap. Damn, same time. Nick went way back. Way. Yeah. All right, same time. So when soon as that came out, nobody paid attention, but they did. Because if I said, I can't stand it, you can't stand it. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you remember that was the song, one of the right? shit. Same yeah. fucking yeah. time. <laughs> he mad. You <laughs> damn right. Because the history. <laughs> nah, but this, uh, on but the look, real, because the real, this, this is the right, type right. of. When the message came out, and you see how broken glass everywhere. People pissing on the station like they just don't care. Everybody put their head down and start praising shit. Give Captain Rap his shit too. Same fucking time. But he Shut did it from up, the yeah. West Coast perspective. And that's, Some of y'all don't even know this history and knowledge. That right there. That's, that's, that's what I was going to say. Because that don't ever get spoken on the talk ain't, about. It ain't too many of these motherfucking nah, famous nah. niggas that the so-called rap. And this is what's wrong with the West. Talk. Tell the fucking truth. Because I ain't scared to. Because I ain't looking. For, ain't nobody looking for me. And I ain't scared to speak up without being drunk and hollering. Like I can contain myself. Speak with facts. I, I tell you Look this, it up in your damn phone. like uh, back then, Bad like times when, uh, the song Captain Rap, Mix Master Spade, eighty five, eighty six. Um, yeah, I ain't never heard of Mix Master Ken, Toddy T. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think it was a uh, uh, MC Magic. What was his dude name? DJ Magic, and Mister Magic, something like that. But he died. Uh, I believe he died on a motorcycle, but. He was a, a big factor too, like Uncle Jam's Army uh -huh. and all that. Greg Mac. Yeah, we used to listen to all that stuff on radio. I remember he uh -huh. came to one of y'all show, uh, the brother from, uh, uh, did you just say their name? Greg Mac. No, nah, the group. Mixed Masters. You just said Uncle, Uncle, Uncle Jam's, Jam's Army. Army, yeah, yeah. They came to one of the shows and we was chilling with him in the parking lot. Yeah. Remember? Probably, uh, uh, damn, one of the names. I mean, Oxnard. Like, Uncle Jam's yeah, Army, yeah, man, is responsible. Of man, most of the Uncle people, Jam's man. Army and uh, uh, Greg Mack is responsible they, they for rap even West surfacing Coast. on even, the West. Lonzo, now, too. He was, Greg Mack is K-Day, right? Crew. Greg Mack was K-Day. So, for me hearing from them over there, that's that's was, what, K-Day really was the first hip-hop or rap radio. Rap. No, so, we, we ain't even gonna say K-Day. We're not even gonna say K-Day. We're gonna say Greg Mack. Greg Mack. Was the first He's responsible for Playing the first rap shit On the West Coast On the airwaves On the West Coast record 1230 AM Was playing Y'all hear that? Greg Mack Shout out to you Greg Mack They just They just honored him This year For the 50th Hip hop You know like Even when I go up to K-Day and shit You know The last time I was up there At K-Day Which is K-Day 92 And Power All together 
And uh, the people that work for K Day, I was like, "Y'all know who Greg Mack is?" They was like, "Huh?" That's crazy. I was That's like, crazy. "How the fuck you don't know who Greg Mack is? You wouldn't even be working at this motherfucker right. if you didn't know who he was." And and can I get a yard for second enough for being on the reads for the fiftieth? You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh yeah, yard, yard. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, yeah, man. We got honored this year, man. A right. whole lot of good stuff been happening. Uh, this past weekend, my f- I I was able to chill. Look, now we're gonna go back to the hug. <laughs> <laughs> Look, how you gonna throw me under the bus like that, dude? Look. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Because I look, look, look. I'm gonna tell you, look, like, like on on some real shit. I met Melly Mel for the first time. I met uh uh Master G from the Sugar Hill Gang. For the first time, I didn't want no dap. I hugged them niggas and I, I, you know, I thanked them. I was like, man, I thank y'all, man, because y'all was part man. of, y'all was the reason, what, you know what I mean, for my being, you know what I mean, on this music shit. And I was, you know, and one of they, he, he didn't even know who I was till I told him. And he was like, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah. I said, yeah, man, you know, I'm just, you know, trying to, you know what I mean? You know, he probably looking at my group like it's this big, right? I, but I had to remind him. I was like, you know, we only sold a few million albums. That's it. Thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I had to boss up on him like that. And he, he looked, he double checked, and he hugged me back. You know what I mean? But it's like, dude, y'all, y'all the pioneers of this shit. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Y'all, y'all taught me my shit. You know what I mean? Scorpio was there too. Okay. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? We we we, we chilled and and you know what I mean? They embraced the nigga. You know what I mean? But like, it was just. Like on some male groupy shit, <laughs> I was a There's I was lo- a love group. and respect. Yeah, it was, it was love and respect that's, that's for them. That's the genuine man. shit right there. The genuine love yeah. and man. respect. Yeah, man. that's what we that's what we missing on the west. It ain't so so much and, looking and for your props. I, it's crazy and that fuck it giving flowers on the fifty year Appreciate of hip hop. Man, are you trying to say mine? No, no, no. I was just gonna say, can we go back to the first album? That's what I just from. How shit. how did you all feel? When that first song came over the radio, in light. Where was y'all at? Like? <laughs> Happy. We was, was on Spruce. Like? We was on Spruce. Watch it on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> I did the same shit when I heard a funky ass commercial that I did on the radio. I thought yeah. I was the shit. Man. Man. I mean, you know what? Like so much that just the, the the idea of can't believe that you on the radio. And, and, and it, it was sunny. It was sunny that Man. day. Yeah. Good days, right. good time, yeah. good feeling. Yeah. Man. Like, damn. Yeah. So on the, the radio, the, people call and talking about, hey. That's you. Oh, I heard you on the radio. The, f- <laughs> the first album, the, the process <laughs> from... <laughs> the process from y'all being in the rooms and pause mixing and recording like that and doing underground tapes to actually now we got a deal and we moving. We have an album. It's worldwide. It's... How how was that transition? Oh, uh, man, it was all so fast. It was moving fast because we wasn't even thinking well, about. Well, at least I know I wasn't was thinking that. about we finna go on tour. I I wasn't either. We I wasn't, wasn't even thinking, thinking about, about none of that deal. shit. You know, it just was like and y'all was a little bit like, like late teens, seventeen, eighteen, yeah, going yeah. in. Man. I got yeah, pictures of, I got pictures of y'all. The deal like, it was, yeah. when the deal happened, we was nineteen. Nineteen, <laughs> yeah, and uh. Like, right before that happened, like, when we started doing music, um, you know, Quick was working with these dudes called uh, Smith and Wesson. They was two, you know, rappers, right? No, they not the East Coast Smith and Wesson. There's some niggas from L.A. Smith and Wesson spelled with you. Yeah, but they was, they was rapping and shit, and uh, they used to do their shit over there at Player Ham House. That's where Quick was, you know, over there, you know, Learning how, to, d- learning how to learning how to use the SP twelve, mm. and uh, I remember the night when we first went over there, uh, uh, in Vogue that that song in Vogue hold on, came had just came out, so Quick was playing in Vogue where it was just you know we was just using the instrumental, and me and K started freestyling, <laughs> and Ham heard it and was like, them the niggas you want to fuck with. That's the nigga. Them you fuck with them. Not that's crazy. You like, but uh, go ahead. I mean, so uh, uh, and then it was a a female. (laughs) This nigga quick was fucking with. (laughs) You know they had got into it this shit, and uh, this was like the big 
the birth of sexy Leroy to chocolate love life. <laughs> like he want us to, you know, to diss her, right? Like, man, man, she was so we started, you know, singing and clowning and you know what I mean, saying some shit, you know, just that's I remember that type of shit, you know, but that's right before the albums and shit start, you know what I mean, covered out. Yeah. Yeah. On the other end too, just just pre pre that moment and meeting Ham and them when Quick went out, cause Cam, yeah, I went to Compton to get a DJ. I put him in my cutlets and brought him back to LA. LA. Yeah, yeah. All right, at that moment in the uh, 89, 90 transition, so we had some unfinished work. We was doing Quick trying to make our first beat. It, uh, you know, get, getting our first beat from Quick. He was so busy at the time <laughs> and he was out in LA. So our first track, <laughs> Black Stallion. No, not Black Stallion. That's ours. But uh, <laughs> his first beat was the breakthrough. Oh, the breakthrough. see now this is <laughs> this is when Claire <laughs> Ham in the Harlem Thirties in LA met second and none. How I see, see quick. Yeah. Ad, you want to step to the real? I'm gonna show you the real. If you try to play hard punk, you get your motherfucking cat pill breaking you down, down running you down. And you- so it's just like an overdose. D got the vocal lead. K running the back up. Waiting for Punk Foods to act up. Quick! You ready on that one, two? Now listen to the motherfucking breakthrough. He was going back. Hey, I still got the song. Hey, that's funny. Like I said, I still I told got you it was far out. All right, so. <laughs> that was hard, Upon man. looking, because we had unfinished business that that, back then in the uh, end of 89, 90. Yeah. Black colors, like quick over his family, sister, and everything. He went to LA. Oh, here go the address. So, all right. Went out to LA to go look for quick. I think Croft had the Elko back then. It was on Chrome Gold D's and shit. He had the murals on the little crust. You know, this late 80, 89, 89. Yeah. I had a black colors, shit on Vogue's beat, just regular shit like I still do. No flossy shit. But we rode to the 30s over there off of, you know, looking for quick so we could finish our music before the albums, before the red tape shit and all that. That's what Ham met us before going in the house and shit to where D, just leading up to, uh, prior to what D was talking about just a little earlier. First meeting Ham and them outside at the gate, pulling up on the corner on Browning over there in LA off of King and, uh, what's that, Western. So parking in front of the house on the corner, getting out, it's like, you know, yeah, we looking for quick. Ham out there, so, you know, talking like I think he called quick on the phone after hearing our shit. Like, yeah, that was and, and them niggas' house, Pat hey, Ham man. and them, them niggas' house was set up like a video shoot. Man. <laughs> like every time, Back like, then. like on some real shit, because his brother was pimping Carl. That was one of the biggest dope dealers out in L.A. Nigga. If you remember, like, uh, on, uh, on ABC back then... It was on Cops. They, they had that nigga that he had him handcuffed, and he was throwing the, him with downstairs the shit. with the perm. Yeah, just like... <laughs> That's his bad brother. Boys, That's when crazy. bad boys come on in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. So anytime we go out, yeah, that's crazy. So yeah, that's how it was going. So that's how that's that's how that's how why they going back then. That's why they called that house yeah, the penthouse, exactly. the penthouse yeah, yeah. players. Because when we See, pull up, it's it's Lolos and. You know, History, they got bins. Them niggas got money. I pull up black 76 colors, the long, brown, bro ham, <laughs> mustard mayonnaise. Long, brown, 8990. <laughs> don't say mustard mayonnaise. They ball going to jump in the fuck. I got that song. <laughs> Man, so uh, yeah, that's how we that first album, how did y'all meet Greedy Greg? Because was, was he your manager or was. Uh, nah. We met him through uh, Quick. Quick. Man, I'm over here at a new spot recording and shit. I got, you know, it's the thing thing over here. And that's, you know, when we met uh, Gritty Greg, we met AMG simultaneously. Okay. Because so AMG then that, was that 1990. Got you. That yeah. makes sense. Well, he wasn't under Gritty Greg. He was, like, he he was, was over there. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was over there. Working on music. Yeah. He got somewhere to go to. Because that, that spot right there is a legendary spot within itself. You know, yeah. from y'all doing everything and everybody yeah, that's been over there, to my knowledge. Yeah. And a lot of people think, you know, like with AMG, people think that Quick did AMG yeah, album. I, and they don't know AMG, AMG produced. AMG producer. Produce. Yeah. It's a lot of people that's that's like, that's that's what that's what this is for. For real, to, to catch up on the knowledge right. that's, that's not. The missing parts. That the part facts. right there. That history niggas don't know about. Yeah, so uh, niggas from that first album, 
how what led to y'all getting y'all deal? Like how did profile did they reach out to y'all or how did that go? Like, nah, that was uh really? Courtney, Courtney, Courtney Branch and Tracy Kendrick. Total they, track production, yeah, right? Total track. They had the, the relationships with record companies. Okay. Greedy Greg was um <laughs> no disrespect. Man. Greedy Greg worked for the Sparkless Water Company at that time. But he he was a DJ too, you know. He used to have you know he used to go you know fuck uh-huh. around. But he had enough sense to say, all right, let me let me put these dudes together, cause I see what they don't see. Right in his voice, you know what I mean. Hey, man, I'm going to put these guys together. <laughs> man, this, Shout out to Greg. This man, too much sense, I'm going to make a shitload of money off of this. I ain't even know it. I'm going to ream them out. I'm going to own the water company. <laughs> but, but, and, no, but, uh, and I'm still fucking myself. <laughs> Greedy Greg, you know, just like by him just being in that. They, the LA, L.A. is big. L.A., you know, is so close to Hollywood. <laughs> and, you know, he Greedy Greg come from that era where he was around the DJs that was, you know, Uncle Jam's armies and, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Roger Clayton yeah. and all mm-hmm. of so They had, folks. you know, shitload records and, you know, they, they know how to load in and load out. The DJ, the shit. impact record pool. Nah, yeah. Danny Foot, I was just going to go there next. Like, did y'all Kendrick ever... Kendrick and Courtney Branch, shit. impact record pool, McClung yeah. Drive off of Crenshaw. Back then, what? Crenshaw and uh, King? Or King. Like that. King. Vernon. King. So they already had a record pool. Yeah. Madonna uh, was part of this back in the 80s, too. A lot right. of the artists well, from outside, yeah. they came to test their records out. Okay. Those right. that don't know what so, a record pool yeah, is, record yeah. pool, you know what I mean? A whole different the impact era. record pool. Th- rest in peace, yeah. Danny Foot James. Hey, Danny Foot uh, James, man. He Thank you, bro. He was responsible for all of this shit to stay all in order, music. managed well. And they had like a bunch uh, of DJs come through, right? Local and that DJs came that through Roger Clayton, yeah. who ran most well, of the, the Uncle Jam's army and all yeah. of that. The Lonzo local DJs were it, it was set up like this. Man. You had Danny Foot, the, uh, the record pool, all the DJs. All, all the other DJs, and they would have listening things. Yeah. And they would say, Okay, this artist play this. Yeah, Y'all one. go out and play this. This one. This, so they these, go dispatch these, these the DJs. Ones. Yeah. And whatever place they get down at, they gonna play that shit. Yeah. So they had like a network of DJs. Right. Yeah. Yeah. From the Bay Area back then, remember, all the way San Diego. When we went one time. They had uh, what's my what's my book? Slim Thug. Slim Thug out they from had Texas. Slim Thug from Texas out yeah. there. Yeah. All the Texas right. back then, they used to be out there just like EPMD and like I yeah. mentioned earlier, Craig Mack, but he was Alvin Ailey with that Zoom 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 on K Day back in the eighties. Man. You know, you brought up Craig Mack, man. He, that nigga was a fun, zoom, most zoom, funnest zoom, person to zoom, be around. Zoom, 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 zoom. Rest hey, in peace, zoom, before, zoom, zoom, before, zoom, like, zoom. I'm gonna tell y'all about Craig Mack, okay. man. <laughs> Craig Mack was a roadie for EPMD. I didn't know Meaning, that. Yeah. yeah. Listen, when That's we were on our very man, first tour, we used to be on tour. Craig Mack was responsible for getting a they uh they luggage and they they told us get to their room and all that yeah, shit. Yeah, that's wild. And the thing that. about Craig Mack, he was so fun because we used to be like, bust me a rap. This nigga will rap right yo. off the... Yo, I should have tried to this rap to flow. You know, that's, <laughs> that was Craig Mack. You know what I mean? My brain goes for miles yeah. and miles and piles. I still and smile and get at you all the while. I'm wild. On some real I'm shit. I'm wild. You didn't know I go, I grow. You should know. Come with bro. Here we go. Here we grow. <laughs> Alvin Ailey, Craig Mack, rest in peace. Man, one story. Y'all remember Peppers? It was be down there. This for those in the late 80s, 90s. It was Club Peppers. The homie stretching Big Y back then when they was pressing on the East Coast niggas. Big Y, rest in peace. Rest in peace, Big Y. It's it's one story. Man, man. Yeah, well, two of them. It. Craig Mack, Big Y, rest in peace, and stretch, wherever you Love at. Peace of power. Who was in Peppers that day? Craig Mack, you know, they knew he was from New York and shit. Man, I walked into Peppers, stretching Big Y, had all the New York niggas pressed on the wall. Craig Mack. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, I'm special. I'm down in the Club Peppers. Y'all knew where that spot was down in El Segundo. It wasn't El Rancho. The club, club Peppers. Turned it down. Man. Okay, but so speak. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm going to cut it short. I was gonna, because I was going to say, you speaking about older, I was going to ask about, was y'all ever like in Eve After Dark and Dudos yeah, and Skateland? I, I mean, Eve After Dark or the penthouse. I think it was the penthouse before it was the Eve After Dark. So did y'all ever come there. across like Dre or, or did you ever like when I you was in there? I seen Dre DJ when I first got in there. My first, I think, first us, I, I only was in there twice. So was that that was before second and none or was that like way before second? Oh, way before. Man, that's crazy. It's in the eighties when Ron DMC was just popping because I seen them going up in the door. Skateland. Avalon, Skateland. What was Skateland like? Because I be hearing stories. I'm like, oh, damn, man. I'm still cracking. <laughs> I got two. I got. I got. I got. I got Three sides of Skateland stories. Man. Skateland was three, like three one sides of the um, stories from Skateland. Skateland was a big, big, big deal. It was uh, you go in there, it's you know, it's a skating ring, you know what I mean. But not only that, this is where they started doing shows. That part, right there. That's like Easy E. That was one of the very first venues he performed at. NWA, Ice Cube, uh. Even public enemy. I was trying to say, I, I, I was. Yeah. I heard that a yeah. lot of them from yeah. out the there, from the East Coast, uh, uh, was coming uh, out uh, here. Whole Curtis Blow, LL Cool J. LL, oh, especially LL Cool J, because that's how he hooked up. I heard LL Cool J, cool J was riding up women's in the summer. Yeah, uh, uh, Bobcat. Bobcat. Hey, Bobcat yeah. dude, I remember a story. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. I remember a story where Bobcat got caught up at the Compton Airport. With some, I, with some stuff? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah, thoughts yeah. and opinions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, hey, so it, it was on. It was nah, crack, no. man. That's hey, crazy. Hey. See, back, back hey, in those man. days, you know, like, that was, we were showing that it was no bias with us. We we loved what we was hearing. Like, EPMD, when they came out with the more bounce beat, Relax your mind, get you guys to see. Oh, that was hood shit to us. It you know what I mean? Right. Funk music. Because we was already playing zapping, you know, Parliament. You know what I mean? And in uh uh LL Cool J, that nigga basically told every t- taught everybody how to rap. Because he was rapping doing songs, not just one song. Him and Ice T. He was doing songs, you know what I mean? Ice T, you know, Ice T was local. Okay, now let's set At that time, yeah. Because I heard Ice T was from New York, East Coast. Right? East Coast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 East Coast. He came down here, right? Like yeah. most of, like most yeah, of the East Coast. Yeah, but it's a lot. Great. Yeah, I'm real. I was about to say it's a lot. Of, it's a lot of people out here that, yeah. that yeah. came yeah. from other places, yeah. just like we not originally. Most yeah. most of hip hop's icons are yeah. what they would coin king. And see, that's that's you know? another thing, man. You know, we got to get rid of that stigma of you know, like oh, y'all niggas from you was born here. No, nigga, look. All our people, we come from some place. You know That's what, I mean? what I'm saying. Most of our yeah. people the, come the from south. the south, the south, not to cut bottom it off, fucking line. But if you don't address it, that's yeah. why it's gonna come back and keep fucking it up and messing. Well, we addressing it, it today. Man. You that's know, the most whole point niggas of us that stay this in California, their people are by way of the south. Man, Mississippi, yeah. Louisiana, Texas. Alabama, Texas. Alabama, Georgia. Georgia. We're all. <laughs> Wherever the slaves they were. They to I gotta, Illinois, I gotta clean this right now. the West Coast, yeah. and New York. My mom and I right. So right get now. y'all facts straight. All the South went to man. Illinois, California, yeah. New York, Midwest. When, 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 so learn yeah. y'all damn history. When the he people, said, uh, before the you start yeah. talking that <laughs> shit. When the free niggas, the free Negroes, niggas, right. when the free, the free North, Negroes, North they niggas. start the going, they start going to New York. Negroes. No. But when they start being free, they start going to New York and they came to California. Man. You know what I mean? We southern niggas. They so, they're not they're northern niggas. They're northern niggers while we were southern niggas. That's why you 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 hear your 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 auntie, your grandmama, they got a little twang in this southern talk. Yeah, you know me. what I mean? On me. Yeah, when they that's say where dirty that comes south, from. Look on your yeah, maps and see how far south, south yeah, my California mama, my mama is right, into right, LA right. County yeah, yeah, on yeah, your right. maps that's yeah. flat, not the world. Yeah, so can that's we, Can read. I ask y'all a question about the classic album? Uh, we, well, we got, we're going to get there. We still got a first album first because album. it's a, it, 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 you still got to go through the death row era and all that because y'all was around, but prior to that, when did that, this, Transition. The, 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 the shit album that got leaked? That what, whole process started in 92, at the end of 92. That was my question, because, you know, 
Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Start 93, coming back off the road in 92, because that's when all the touring and shit was cracking. End of 91 through some parts of 92. So after that, coming back home and sitting still for a while, Death Row was just coming up. So we back at home. So end of 91, pretty much, I think that's when the conferences were starting, all the music conferences. Yeah. But let's just say when should pop up on the entertainment scene. End of 91, 92. Because most of the music conferences, for those who know business, starts as like the end of the year or the beginning of the year. Such as, such as, such as Jack so the this, Rappers, right? Like yeah, Jack but that, that wasn't it. No, they had it in L.A. on Century Boulevard. It used to be called the Stouffer's Hotel on Century. Before the airport on the left hand side, they changed the name of it. Tells you my mama country. Yeah, but that was where the music conference was held at that day. And that was a that was a real eventful day and memorable day for me because that's how I remember it. Because this was when Shug popped on the scene. This is when the role really kicked in physically. Right, right. And this is where every, with Tupac, with the discovery of Ralph and Bobby, because we got into it with Ralph and Bobby on the second level. Because uh, they was loaded. But, um, facts. <laughs> niggas bumped into Co- us. Cocaine loaded. Right. Oh, man. Them niggas yeah, came in. Niggas started to bump in. Like, hey, this the is the night. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. When he first got his hey. record deal. All this happened that night. This is when the world first saw That's Quick crazy. and Second and None, the AMG. This is our Bobby nice. Brown right here. I don't do no, I don't do no coke though. I That's just, right. I just smoke a little, I smoke a little weed. But you Bobby and Ralph. But he'll slap a motherfucking. Oh. So was y'all still on profile yeah, at that time? We wasn't part. even on profile yet. Oh, okay. That's See, before this, this is going yeah, into. We didn't have a deal. We had popularity off our underground tapes. wasn't no mixtape. They was called underground tapes because we were all underground artists, like the Too Short, the E Forties. You see how long and prominent, and um, you know, still going. Right, still here. Underground artists. That includes Quick, Too Short, E-40, Second and None, Spice One, the MCAs, the whole Lonzo and Record crew who came through him, and the DJs, Roger Clayton, Greg Mack, and K-Day Mix Masters. When well, you know the facts of history, because if you was there, you know this shit. Y'all, Especially y'all have, when you got fucking encyclopedia proof. Encyclopedia you know, right some, Somebody going to start waking the fuck up and listening to somebody who was there and know what the fuck they talking about, because I can show you. Do y'all know? I got a question for y'all. You know, so y'all, do y'all know what first album went platinum without any promotion? The rap album. No, it was a West Coast artist. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Yeah, it was too short. Yeah, I didn't know that. Underground his independent very, his artist very form, first with distribution album went. Out the roof. That was street yeah, details, right? Yeah, it, yeah, that, yeah, that was, it was we, we word didn't of mouth. We no help on the West Coast except See, that's the NWA. Uh, uh, it right was there. word of mouth. Rest that's of crazy. us, we didn't have no help. And that even that don't get spoke on like that. Like right, like that, right, exactly. That's crazy. Like why? And this, this this be my thing about all of these documentaries and everything. Like it's a whole they gap. miss it. They 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 split. And they don't. They, never, they, they don't. They I don't know if it's be, I don't know if it's because they don't the have the knowledge. Era and then our era, the or DJ if they just quick blatantly nine. like skip over this. Before certain death era. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Cause like well, we they can don't. Sit they, here. I know we can. Let me let me say something. Let me say something. One one thing y'all got to remember is that. There are people that try to control the narrative and there are people that know the truth, such as us two. Man. You know what I mean? From the gate. People seen it, but then you have, you know, you have guys that come on and, and they either try to erase the history or try to control it Rewrite and write it. their own yeah. shit. Right. You know what I mean? His story. Right. So, I mean, the pieces, like, us going back down memory lane, you know what I mean, about all the questions y'all asking, yeah. it's good because it's helping us remember to establish the history. Right. Right. You know what right. I mean? So, so how how important do y'all feel it is to tell y'all own story? Well, well at this point, it's, it's very it's important. Very important because as a group, you know what I mean. Y'all have to take time as as well to get the individual stories that makes us us. And two essence. people, we we can't speak. I don't speak for him. He don't speak for me. So understand both of us. It don't unionize us as one thought. He has his own brain. He's his own man. I'm my own man. I don't have my own brain. I, God control that. That's why I'm still here. And I want to say another thing. It's almost the same as they erasing our history as who we are as people. Huh. 
You know what I mean? It's the same shit. It's going over and over. So how do you the do best that? thing that happened to us is, you know, it's a blessing and a curse is the internet because we free to even control our shit. Right. You know what I mean? So be able to say, hey, no, this happened in 80 something. Man. This happened. You know what I mean? All right. Like, nigga, fuck what you talking about. I was there. Right. This happened. Yeah. You know what I mean? Starts, Matter of fact, like, I was part of yeah. what happened. You know what I mean? And people don't be knowing that. Yeah. So that's that's why I asked that question because with all these biopics and everything, you see uh, people that's coming out doing interviews now, like, man, man it was like this. Truth. I was yeah. right. I, y'all didn't know. That was my everyday nigga. But now a lot of people don't know, like, with not just with y'all, but a lot of people in the, been in the realm... And and it's like to tell your own story is to give people a, a, a viewpoint into y'all essence and what made y'all uh, man, who y'all is to how they it, perceive it, but really the, behind that though. None. I gotta man. say this: the individuality that comes together to make an impact and force. Man, you together, are, togetherness. I have to you say two this: are definitely unique, man. Man, personally uh, speaking, like for real, because and you guys, have to, I know for the guy, I'm gonna speak for myself. As far as being influences in my life, period. As far as music and personally, man, y'all made a big ass impact. Factual. I could go back to some shit, man, and uh, we share some personal stories together. But um, I can go back and say, man, shit. Some of the shit that y'all been through, I was there, the witness. You know what I mean? The upbringing, the downfalls, and all that shit. So for me to y'all, and I appreciate y'all, and I love y'all. Love you more, man. Hey, same if way. I ain't said it, I'm saying it in the backyard. Love you more, see? man. I'm going to tell you one thing, man, that um, this history, it's important to speak it. You know, I stopped doing interviews. Like, but when I saw this podcast, I was like, that's what I want to talk to. Somebody that's not going to go edit your words. I've done, uh -huh. you know, this shit was real fucked up in the past. Like when we used to do the Source magazine and shit, and we go back and read it and be like, man, this nigga be like, we didn't say that. The back of our album. Uh, you know what I mean? I didn't it's, write that shit. It's motherfuckers, that you know, they would have a straight out, uh, full blown motherfucker put his, his recorder like this. Fuck and then, you know, he's supposed to dictate what that recorder said. Right. But he would try to spice it up so his article can look better. That's crazy. You know what I mean? But I stopped doing interviews with, you know, certain networks because they want to try to control the narrative. Why would I do an interview with your network when I can go tell the shit my damn self? That part. part. That part. You know what I mean? Really and authentic. So I don't I don't care like how much who you are, whatever that shit. It's like even like right now, if they was to say, uh, if Vlad came and said, Can mm -hmm. I interview you? It's like, no, nigga. Like on some real shit. That's like right, fucking culture vulture, Like I man. I don't you know what I mean? It's like your the shit is right in your face. Uh -huh. How many people get hurt behind your network? Yeah. Right. You know right. what I mean? That's it's right in your face. But he's feel where he can talk to you and say, you know, he feel comfortable enough because he feel like everything is dummy down. Correct. Where he can feel and get at you like that. You know what I mean? So there's a lot of people that go on there, and I love you. I love them to death. Right. But I don't have respect for that shit. On the real. Like on some real shit. You know, so so my opinion, and, and I just had to put that out there. I don't fuck with no Vlad. I, I really w wish to meet you so we can like get you to understand and respect our culture, not for no interview. He's respect us. You know what I mean? And, and when when people understand that culture means color, that's 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 when they're gonna have to respect it. Culture is color. It's not just black. It's black. Mexicans, brown, you know what I mean? It's culture. Well, we definitely thank y'all for sure. Um, uh, especially two legendary brothers. You know, a lot of us, you know, again, I was born in 86, so I was probably like a little dude on Minnesota Society with the big wheel. 
when y'all was doing. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, nigga, we we was in Damn. line when your mom was buying Infamil. <laughs> we was right in the station. <laughs> Talking about them food stamps I want to use. Hey, hey, that part. I had cash in my pocket. And you know, it's definitely and I, and again that comfort. A lot of times with especially with our people, we got to learn how to have that respect for the legends in a community because you don't see this happen in other communities, the rock community, et cetera, where the legends can thrive. And Whereas with our music, and again, we have to take some onus in that, right? But you guys have a, a better viewpoint because being in the actual, uh, for lack of better words, in the actual system of what music was coming from the West, seeing the bias from the East Coast, and then having to fight not only through, let's not even talk about neighborhood bias, let alone industry bias, yeah, right? Coastal bias. You know what I'm saying? While, while the world is loving yeah. you at the same time. Yeah. Outside so that's, of where that's you, deep. You the culture, culture Y'all, bias. I got a random question. Let me spice this thing up. Y'all ever went on tour with Hammer? Well, we did shows with yeah. Now, all through the bay in different states. Why now, a lot of cats, the, that's another thing with Hammy Ham. When no, brother, it's, it's, it's Hammer. It's Hammer. It's with Hammer. It's, it's Hammer. Right. It's him. Yeah. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. That's, well, that's the homie. It's not a Jack in the Box commercial. <laughs> no, no, no. The <laughs> only reason I'm saying this is because, <laughs> like, Hammy Ham. <laughs> listen. <laughs> no, 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 rock, rock with Hammer. What you mean? No, no, listen, listen. Call that listen. nigga Stanley. Listen, I'm, I'm, I got to say this, man. MC Hammer. Is one of the really solid Man. is ass niggas. Right. That's yeah. Just because he danced, that's yeah, don't mean that you think he, he's well, like the, he was the, doing drill team steps. This stretch. is that's one right. niggas. Yeah. That's yeah. town yeah. business yeah. up in the north. Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, but he put on show. But I'm saying yeah, he, Ham, he paid for a lot Hammer. He Man. when yeah, I look at that's another narrative too. For color folks. That's Man. another narrative he with him. He made a lot of jobs for Gee. color folks and took them around to see stuff and expose them to things they never will probably get to see or be at in touch around this United States. I, I want to know what this shows. I got a quick question that's, you know, I just be thinking off the, off the you know, spectrum. Has <laughs> there ever been an a, a, a artist or somebody that y'all wanted to collab with that either said no or... <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, my bad. I, I'm serious. You just sparked something, but go ahead. They just said no. <laughs> and and part two to that question is, what artist would you all would like to collaborate with? I don't the recall yard. of even reaching out to nobody. No. I don't the recall. Yard. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Outside of the yard. I got a story. Put that out there. You gonna put that energy out there? I need to talk about yeah. some, some of these records. But that, like, as far as working with somebody, that kind of caught me off guard. Like, we we was us. I would I would say but, D. Well, 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 Tina Marie, rest her soul. Oh man, I could man. see D. Man, I I, 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 I would love to. Yeah. I would love okay. to no, not reaching out to her. No, I would love to collab, collab with her. But collaborating with her. Yeah. yeah, yeah. One of my favorite you? artists. Let me see. Uh -huh. KK. It's hard. KK, yeah. It's a big range of shit. No, it you sound like that no, dude in, in France. It was an African uh, in France. He's like, yeah. you? Yeah, he told okay. He's like, you? Yeah, that's Senegal. Yeah, they grabbed but, this shit to the way. You? Like, Nigeria. All Africans and shit. Because, you know, we told it, we, we told, you know, it's a lot of Africans we're everywhere, we're right? So I was like, man, we don't see the cold thing. We don't know our culture. We don't know, you know, like, what we come from. Okay. And the motherfucker's like, you? You Nigerian. And you? So I, I go to go look on some Google, <laughs> and you, I see both yeah, look like just, you. Like, Y'all have some focus. <laughs> Nigerians, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I, I said that's a good I said you were burner bitch, but I'm just saying. Yeah, I but can yeah, see that. I can see Tina Marie, and you working with it's, Rick it's James. It's a Rick so James song because I saw him do it live, and uh, I don't know if it was late seventies in the park. And my mom used to take me to the park and had musical festivals. I don't know if it was Jesse Owens Park. It was some park in L.A. Real Watchers. Real Rogers. Watchers. Which is Ted Watkins now, right? Nah, yeah, nah, it wasn't on Central. It was, like, it was yeah, in L.A. Yeah, that's Ted Watkins now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nah, it was in L.A. That's why I said the other part. Oh, okay, yeah. It was a stage out there. It was the Brother Johnson's, Rick James. Oh, you and yeah. I. 
I seen yeah, him yeah. do that live. Damn. Yeah. So, That's so dope. Brother Johnson. So that that would be the song because I even mentioned it to Boom before. Like that track, I always playing yeah. this shit. Yeah. I seen I, him do I, that I, shit I met live. Rick James, bro. Mm. Did you? Yeah, this oh this was God. as a kid though when it was fresh. That at the W <laughs> Hotel in Hollywood. Yeah, so, so I got I, the I got, media. I got a question for y'all. It was crazy. If y'all could see anybody perform dead or alive, who would it be? Man. Kind of sing. Man, me. So I got to stand on stage with him. Me, I so would love to see. Moment, I would love to see Maurice White. Man. See, and they in his prime. That's, that's one of my Earth, talking Earth, about. Wind, and fire. So we got to smoke weed in his backyard with him. See, that's my favorite group. That's what I'm kind that's of. That's my son's Earth, favorite Okay, but well, look, but yeah. but from birth, I I gravitated to the Spirit album, the Gold album with the three white pyramids on. It. So that album was what seventy one seventy. I don't know what it is. I crawled about Earth, to that. Wind, and fire, bro. But, but this that's my favorite group. Year old kid, bro. Okay, because he's attracted to me, the elements, me, man. For take me, take him to a concert, bro. For me. To Adam. meet Maurice White and sit in his backyard and smoke a joint with him. And then, what, a year ago? Me, Stevie Wonder, pick him out first because nobody knew who the fuck he was. Mm. Me and Quick on our way to Detroit last year. Quick didn't even know. Nobody knew. I picked it. That's Stevie. You know, I got pictures and video and shit. Greatest. We're on our way to Detroit. This is my first, our first time meeting Stevie. So, so Earth, Wind, and Fire. Hey, Stevie Kay was like, "Hey, what's up, Stevie? Damn right. What color nah, I got nah, on? This ain't nah, nah, <laughs> nah. In, in, in <laughs> what color I got on? Nah, we was we was born on the hell. plane, man. Oh man. <laughs> We was getting ready to get bored on our way to Detroit. Stevie walking on the plane, nobody noticing the shit. So you sitting on the wall like there, here go the boarding gate. He walking, I like, I notice this shit. I'm like, this that nigga, that's Steve Wonder with a little Kango shit. You ask him, how did you you, you know how to get here? Shit. Nah, he was way over there. <laughs> did you drive him here? To get nah, the real Stevie? shit. When hey, I told bro. Quick, this nigga didn't believe me. I said, nigga, that's Stevie. Then when they recognized, and nobody knew it was him. Nigga, I got the whole fucking airport saw it. So, LAX, going to Detroit last year. Because everybody knew it after that. Because quick, once I recognized it, the quick, in uh, I am singing of history. I am singing of tomorrow. So that's how we got his fucking attention, singing this song. England, oh yeah. Yeah, and African and Spanish <laughs> yeah. first. And then in English. So he turned yeah. away from the board and gate, looked dead at us and shit. He looked at him. <laughs> you goddamn right. He, he looked, heard the I song. told you. He heard the My sound nigga Steve, he looked at him. Singing sound this sound motherfucking wave. song in Spanish. <laughs> so let's hey, get, let's get ready to grow up right here. He looked right at him. He was like, what's up, my nigga? But anyway, the niggas, he I looked over because he heard the sound. <laughs> Stevie. That's what I'm talking about. I know. About. Hey, they done oh, told on you. Like, they know you can see, Steve. This for the West Coast. Y'all time for y'all to grow the fuck up. Uh. Uh, they it's know so you can see shit, the cats out the, the bag. Fuck all that. That's why we second to none. They said Stevie be driving and all that type he, of shit. He ain't but. got no fuck. He got driving. I ain't heard he, he was money. in the car accident. I heard he was he driving. He took care of his business and shit. That's why he got though. fucking money. And riding first class and listening to two niggas from Compton singing Man. this song in two fucking languages. He paid attention to the fucking sound. And Stevie that's stopped the lady they, when she was walking in the house. Tune like, back into, you you instead of the sound of fucking joking, get serious about some hell. shit. Maybe to change your fucking life. That includes the sound, because we're talking about music today. And the group second to none, and honoring the moment that the homies in the backyard at the Remedy Yard, stick it to the <laughs> fucking points. That's what West Coast lost the touch at. Stick to the fucking points. We ain't no motherfucking Gumbies. Y'all talk all this shit, West Coast. Start being serious without being hard. Hey, uh, you got a point cussing. there. Let's stop cussing like I can do and show you on camera and tune in. Spell your fucking name. See, he gonna correctly. cuss again. <laughs> <laughs> hey. It's, 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 it's hey, my good. big relative it's, said, come hey, fuck with you. What you yard, one thing, one one thing y'all got to remember. Only in the yard. I got jokes, too. Hey, my folks say, my but, folks say my you. My jokes are serious. Listen, listen, listen. My jokes come serious. It's like the comedians you can't stand because they're telling the truth. Hey, I'm going to wake you the fuck up. We could be here all day long with these dudes, man. But we need our own shit. Yes, sir. Wake up, West Coast. We respect y'all. Give Real y'all shit, love, y'all. peace, and power for sure from yeah, all the yarders. Now. We got a Lord. lot more. No, y- y'all 
for sure. We got oh, to get on be some y'all telling y'all's story. You know? yeah. Hell yeah. Because there's only so much we can put into this fight. one podcast. But, sure. you know what I'm saying? We respect y'all and love y'all for stepping into the yard, stepping into the backyard. Yes, so any any last questions or any last remarks or anything? I can't wait for the wanna, music. I want to thank y'all I'm for real. Sitting on because, the shit. I mean, I'm talking I about talking that yarders collab. All that shit. You been sitting on it, right? Oh, uh, yeah, one. of course. I didn't say who the hell. <laughs> I got yeah. one of that. You feel me? I got it's, one. It's called, okay. it's called, it's called yeah, correctitude. I, I told you niggas yeah. got jokes, right? Yeah. 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 For that like correctitude. Uh, for real, since I was 18, 19, and I'm 33 years old now, bro. That's when I first got brought over there. I remember the day when Boom and D came and picked me up when I was living on Dwight, when I did, to me, my first show. We did it for Ru. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, Ruiz, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first uh, time I ever Her birthday performed. party, yeah. First time I literally ever before, <laughs> bro. Some of the funnest times of my yeah, life bro, because yeah. that's when. <laughs> that's exactly. no, I'm gonna say it. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> See, look, because he probably looking like he don't remember. Look. No, I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> it was like, what, what you had on? It wasn't no, me, though. No, no, it wasn't that me. That was, it was uh, a group called the Stick Figs around this time. Oh, Going to the homies, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. And so, me and bro, we Compton down. You feel me? I got my Compton hat on. You feel me? We, we right. solid. Now, the homies came in and the, they, was uh, the dip, they, was they was jerking and all that at right? the time. Yeah, so, they were jerking. Red Mohawk era? Oh, no, nah, it, it was after uh, that. It was uh, after that. I ain't never seen that. It was funny because... We pre-skinny jeans. Oh, nah, they, pre, had the, they, they, they were skinny. They were skinny jeans. Man, they was your little sister jeans. Like you feel this, me? They was them type of days. You we feel me? Part of that shit. That nigga D grabbed me, he said, don't wear these shit. Don't wear these no more. All on the mic, though. That's funny as got the mic. That was a, and the funny thing about it was it was their time to perform, bro. Listen, <laughs> so, hey, D wow. grabbed the side. That and shit I, was that's funny, what made dog. me look. I'm looking over there like, oh, shit. check, not to do no shit like that. Don't wear no skinny jeans. Like you feel me? They will Man. call your ass out. Like you feel me in a minute. But yeah. me to say that is my first show doing that from you. From learning how to hold the mic from both of you guys, you feel me? I haven't been on the stage with you. You still doing both the wrong motherfucker, no. yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm. But you still need the feature, though. I'm glad. Hold on, 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 hold on. You waiting for the new two hours? Wait, 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 wait. I'm on the new. Wait, I'm sorry. Can I say that? Hold on, hold on. Can I? Can I? Can I? Go ahead. Can I go? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Can I go ahead? Cause I'm on the new coming. Y'all go pick up that uh, Second to None Presents the Collector featuring the Mad Pack, Gangsta that Twin, boy. Big Trey. You dig what I'm saying? So Trey, get the album in. Uh, and then how to rest your... I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Shout out, shout out to LG. That's all I'm saying. But get the album in. He got to get the solo in. Get an album. <laughs> that was Mad Pack. You got to get the solo get in. in. That was Mad Pack. This is, not, this is me without Boom. Get so a, this is not Boom. Yeah. Yeah. This is me without Boom. This is L7 Hayes. All right, Each of these men right here. This is not the Boom in the Yard. Get an album. Well, for me, I just want to give y'all your flowers. I appreciate y'all for accepting me with open arms. You know, letting me be that fly on the wall. Come on, man. You know, and just giving us that encouragement, man, and telling us to keep going, you know. That part. Appreciate the love, man. Man, one thing about me and Kay, man, we always tried to help motherfuckers. We ain't tried. We did it. You know, it. just like on some no, real wasn't shit. Wasn't no social media back then. Shit, look at look what we got here. This yeah, is a right. this is a product. Of, you yeah, know, yeah, thirty three yeah. years of folks there's from been, Southern California that can speak for it because they saw it in real life. There's been many other other groups that we you know came across and we tried to help. You know what I mean? Um, Individual artists as and, well. You yeah, know what I mean? Man. But we always try to help. You know what I mean? We always believe that you know because somebody helped us. You know what I mean? Right. So. Back Look, to that's why I said the last, e the last episode, the don't nobody do it by themselves. I don't yeah, care what right. nobody that talking about. It's, it's somebody that's going to assist somewhere down the line. Can I say sure. this? Go going ahead. back to that moment. Go ahead. All right. The help, like I was saying, in our beginning and our, if anybody found or discovered Second to None, because nobody really discovered this, let's just make this straight in this point about Second to None. If anybody were to discover us, it will be Mixed Master Spade and Scotty D. Scotty D. Man, shout from out to Scotty D, too. I talked to Scotty D. From yeah. us doing the, the talent shows, we went to Man, we went to Scotty D and we didn't know Mixed Master Spade. It was their talent show. We spent $10 a piece, $20 to enter the contest. I think it was 200 or something. This is what we was doing. Yeah. 89 Man. night. Going around taking the $100, $200 on the weekend nights. And man, we knew I, our I, shit was tighter than everybody. I want to personally thank Scotty you know, and Spade gave us our much love, piece of back. power. Right. 
Yeah. yeah. That's what woke me up about second to none because when Spade and Roger, um, damn, I'm, on, I'm not thinking Roger Spade, my bad, Scotty D gave us our $20 back. From the talent show. Yeah. For the fucking talent show. Nigga. It was $20 yeah. fee. That's how yeah, like I was making that bread. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> $20, $20 was, was 100 back, back then. Yeah, back yeah. then. Yeah. Yeah. For you teenagers. Know I mean? shit. So we got yeah. 20 to enter the contest because we know we going to win. Our nigga, shit tighter than all these niggas. Nigga, Nike Cortez we, was we $20. Believed in nigga. Our, we believed in ourselves. We sacrificed ourselves. that. You know what I mean? We believed right. in ourselves. Yeah. I'm going to end it real quick. But this is a vital moment a lot of people need to hear. We believed in ourselves as teenagers. That poor. And we invested in ourselves. That poor. Man. So that's remember that. That poor. And them two that's old dudes, Spade, rest in peace, Scotty D, gave us our motherfucking money Man. back. Yeah. Because they up. knew they saw some motherfucking talent before and, and, the world saw something. Well, now, you do some legends in our eyes, you know what I'm saying? And again, like Boomer said, we appreciate y'all, man, respect y'all. And it ain't about y'all y'all flowers and y'all still yeah cause like, I don't like that shit I, I ain't shit. gonna be like you gonna give me some flowers give me some weed nigga. give you a drink <laughs> <laughs> hey that's it man that's, that's, right that's, there, that's, my what, nigga. that's what the west coast we need to get back to our own lingo man. let's go man somebody oh. set a platform we don't need drink champs we need champ champs you hear me yeah, we do I don't us. need no weed hey, hey. I don't need no hey, weed hey, earlier, to the right no wrong earlier either. I said this ain't drink champ this champs champ, with drinks champ, 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 salute salute in the backyard in the backyard, yeah, man. Yeah, man. The remedy. Thank y'all for having yeah. us, man. On some man, real stuff, you. man. Thank y'all for stepping into the yard. Thank man. y'all, y'all, dog. y'all. This is going to be something <laughs> Not big. The wrong way. You know what I mean? Hey. Anybody need to? Everybody need to step to the yard. You know what so I mean? With, so with that being Appreciate said, that. man, point your finger at the bad guy. I'll be the suspect. Five hundred. Mm-hmm. World's favorite nerd, L Seven Hayes. I know, did it. I be your only one favorite, Gangsta D. Black ass KK, second to none. Brother. That poor, all right? <laughs> the crucial one. Crucial ass ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good looking for seven to the backyard. Let Appreciate me get a yard one time. Yard. 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 Yard.